Hey guys, Crew Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Shane. I'm Kevin. I'm Aaron. And we're back in the Wave Cave yep, yep, yep. from Star Wars Celebration in Orlando, Florida. <sighs> which was my first celebration, I believe, all of everybody's first celebration. My second. <laughs> no, it's not. What? <laughs> uh, it was awesome. We had a lot of fun. I'm still kind of tired from it. Like, I'm still kind of weak. And, I have yeah, my monster back, so I'm, I'm good. My legs hurt, and yeah, you got it back. Good job. He, this guy was looking for it, too. Eris, you brought me some. Yes. Eris, yeah, we met a lot of wave riders. That was, yeah. that was the single best experience <laughs> I, of celebration, I think it was. was meeting you guys. Yes. The cool thing was that we went from, like, here in Marriott, Ohio. Yeah. How often do you ever, you go, hey, you're blind wave, right? Never. When twice, that happen, like, usually, hey, twice you're that like fucking fat guy years. that attacked like, yeah. Kroger's with, you know, like <laughs> yeah. that. The whole time I've had it happen, I've had it twice. It was some yeah. guy that was, like, outside game stuff one time. Was, hey, aren't you, like, from Blind Wave? I'm like, yeah. He's like, cool, man. And he just walked away. Yeah. And then there was the one time at H.H. H. Gregg where, yeah. like, the guys recognized us and took a picture. And that was, like, the coolest one around here. Yeah. Well, yeah. In the movie theater, if you want to count that. And, you know, he didn't recognize me. Fuck that guy. He <laughs> didn't recognize us. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, he, he was, he's a fan, too. Yeah. But down there, like, it just kept happening. That was the yeah. best thing. Constantly. It, it was it was weird just because, like, we got to the point where we would walk and talk about something, and they would just run up. Hey, can you take a picture? Yeah. Sure, and we why just not? resume the conversation. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? So, but and they were all so nice, you know? Absolutely. And a couple of them hung out with us for the weekend. Right? Yeah. Isaiah. Yeah. Isaiah, yeah. Yeah. Justin. Justin was there, right yeah. there yeah. watching. We got to hang out Justin, with Daniel. Justin, Daniel. Good old Justin. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so well, we, yeah, we can talk about that as we go through. Well, you guys want to hear about how Celebration was, and we got to tell you because you guys sent us there. Yes. We uh, went for free, I guess. So, I mean, I, I spent a little money. On Shane. <laughs> On Shane. <laughs> no, but, uh, please. But it was funded, uh, crowdfunded by our Discord server, so yes. shout out to all of them. Uh, yes. That was awesome. Yep. Yeah. We, but, uh, we thought about flying, but we didn't. We, we didn't. We, not. we decided to drive and have a road trip and eat on the way down we and stuff. We rented a very sexy vehicle. I'll bet you guys appreciate the, the, the fact that we drove. Because yeah, if you, you guys got to watch our Snapchat If you're story. following our Snapchat, blindwave underscore wave, yep. then uh, you saw our trip down. And Maybe some, back and some things there, too, which yeah. we Snapchat a lot, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, we tried to Snapchat as much as we could. But the trip down was fun. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was, like, super silly for the first three hours. Died down. And then died down. Secret Aaron, I hear when you get through this tunnel, you're gay on the other side. Get ready. Oh, 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 oh. Just stop, we'll go in. What are you doing? <laughs> He's going to poop. <laughs> <laughs> Calvin, what have you done? I didn't do it. Why aren't we driving? I could. I could just go around. No. 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 <laughs> and then we ate, and then I was excited again, and then I crashed sugar. <laughs> Shane, where have you taken us? Pinky's what's that grill. Pay attention to that. Pay no attention to that Why? green man. Why is he? Shane? Uh, yeah. Are you excited to be here? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> what did you do? That was one of the four. Hamburger is peanut butter, coleslaw, and sriracha. We'll do two of them. Oh, oh. It's weird. I can taste every single flavor. I got to smell the like, I can taste every single one, and it does not contradict it. <laughs> so you like it? This is a sauerkraut and cheese one. cheese and chili dog. Yeah, like we ate it. What was it? Pinkies? Yeah, Pinkies. Pinkies. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Here's my story from Pinkies. Oh my gosh. Pinkies is weird. Okay. Pinkies had this burger, right? I had a burger. Yeah, everybody had a burger. She had, had a burger. Hot dogs and stuff. But Pinkies had this burger. What was it called? What was the it pterodactyl. Like? Yeah, but what was it? <laughs> what pterodactyl. Was, how was it dressed? 
Oh, you, you had the ding dong. The ding dong right? style. Yeah. And ding what that is, is stuff. on a hamburger with cheese is peanut butter, mm-hmm. yes. sriracha, mm-hmm. uh, honey sriracha, and tartar. That was yes. sauerkraut. No, it's not. I hate sauerkraut. Me too. I it was, was yeah, it was sauerkraut. Tartar. Really? Yeah, you gave me that one uh, hot dog. Here, try this. I'm like, oh, cool. I took a bite of it. I'm like, fucking sauerkraut. But I, I would be like, ugh, because the waitress was right there. <laughs> so I was like, it was good, man. You looked more excited than that. <laughs> no, I didn't. I, I was faking. I'm just a real good actor. Uh, anyway, so I had that burger, and it sounds terrible. It sounds terrible. terrible it was terrible. not. It wasn't amazing. It was weird. You could taste every ingredient separately when you took a bite. It didn't exactly mesh well, because usually we put ingredients in it, it creates a new flavor, you yeah. know? Yeah. This was like, here are three flavors. I'm like, I know there's flavors. <laughs> and, and there's yeah. a hamburger. It was, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I always, I wanted to try it because I'm like, I'm never going to try this again. I'll never get the chance. I might as well, right? You could have so just did. remembered it and made your own. <laughs> I did. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I, I did not try it. Yeah. I was not going to, yeah. I don't like peanut butter on Hamburgers. You don't like peanut butter in general. Wasn't yeah. it you don't chunky like peanut, peanut butter? butter? Period. It was, yeah, it was chunky. Crunchy. Yeah, yeah. Cr- crunchy. crunchy peanut butter. So it had some yeah. crunch yeah. to it. Yeah, uh, I, I thought it was Which I good. guess you can get with lettuce, but... <clears throat> I thought it was pretty good when I tried it. Yeah. It was pretty good. It was interesting. It was interesting. The thing I like about Pinkies was that we waited to get in, but once you got in, like, they it got... Was like, we ordered quick. The food yeah. came quick. Yeah. It was good. Yeah, we yeah. were out. Good. Great customer service. Hey, you need a drink filled? Hey, you need a drink filled? Yeah. Like that place. Yeah. Like our ne- our drinks were never less. A plus on customer service. Yeah. If I didn't like that food, I'd still go back there because it's customer service. Yeah, it took, so le- it took like less than two minutes for them to get our, our food. Mm-hmm. It where, was crazy fast. Where was that? Was that, that was South in Carolina? That, that was, was in South North Carolina. Carolina was it? It, was in, it was in the Carolinas. Charlotte? I don't remember which yeah. place we stopped. Yeah, it was Charlotte. I think it was yeah, Charlotte. Yeah, it was Charlotte. It was, yeah. it was in North Carolina yeah, because Charlotte, we drove out and then... the Verizon could, building. Yeah, the Verizon building. Mm, well, wasn't the girl with the, the hips let us there. <laughs> yes. We'll let that legend sit and yeah. not share it. That's just for us. Yeah, okay. I, well, the reason we went there, I don't... Like, Shane's like, we're going to find some seafood. We're close to the ocean. And then we went to Pinkies and got hamburgers and yeah. hot well, I was just looking, yeah. I was looking at reviews. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, well, you know. Never trust internet reviews, though. Well, it, it was customer good. reviews. I was like, I like that. that was like the number one place he said. Yeah. And it was pretty good. It was close. It was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. it was pretty good. good. So anyway, we did that. We drove some, some more. And then we stopped uh, at, a hotel, at a hotel somewhere. Yep. Nothing okay, extraordinary there, except we did watch the trailer for Thor. We yep. set up our camera and all that stuff. Yeah. There, so you guys would have seen that. That was then. Uh, then we got back on the road in the morning. Drove the rest of the way. Drove the rest of the way. Operate the doors. This is how we fuck with Eric. <laughs> yes. uh, Florida. We're in Florida. Florida. We're in Florida. Florida. Almost there. Almost Florida. there. Florida. 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 And got there and then waited for them to make our hotel room open. Yeah, I said we'll be there. <laughs> well, Shane called earlier and he was like, hey, when can we check in? And they're all like, well, like three check-ins is check in. Three. Like, well, he's like, well, if I get there at 12, can I get in? She's like, probably. Like 95% right. sure or something, didn't they? Yeah, we need to get into like... We got there around 3.30. So yeah. it was a half hour after check-in. And they said, well, your room's not ready yet. They're cleaning it. They're cleaning it. So give us a little bit. We'll text and you. make all kinds of interesting cutaways. What was really going on right now? Yeah. And uh, I think it was... Eventually, we were like, well, let's go over here to this restaurant in the hotel and we'll just eat something. And I think it was around 6 o'clock. Yeah. yeah. They finally were like, okay, you can get in. Yeah. It took a long what? time. So noon to six. Well, we three thirty to six is when we got there. Yeah. yeah. So we sat there for almost three hours just waiting on a hotel room. So it took a long so, time to wait. Yeah. Someone. So it was a big weekend. There was a wave rider that was on Twitter or Discord that was like, I guess when we were sitting in the lobby waiting on a room, yeah. they're like, Oh, I saw the blind wave guys, but I didn't go up. They looked pissed. <laughs> <laughs> We weren't really pissed. We were just we yeah. Were, we were excited because we wanted to start the yeah. weekend. Yeah. 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 And we started the weekend in a way that I didn't expect was going to happen. So we all got together uh, in the room. We, we got cleaned up from the ride and all that stuff. And then we walked over to Axel Celebration. Uh, yeah. the, it was like what? It's probably like a 15-minute walk. I don't know. I think it was uh, It was like 0.2 miles to McDonald's. I think the convention center was like 0.6 miles maybe or something like that, yeah. right? It wasn't that far. It but wasn't super far. That was if you went like straight through the roads. Yeah. But we took kind of the convention center way around a little bit. We took bit. like about yeah. a mile. About a mile <laughs> walk, but... It, 
Actually, it was kind of a pleasant walk. Very yeah. pleasant. It was, um, it was really nice. It was all up on catwalks, yeah. and it was covered. And there was moving floors. Good. And there was yes. moving floors. Yeah. So anyway, we just we just got, you know, dressed and left. We didn't yeah. take anything with well, us. Well, our idea was like, let's go look at the convention let's center and heck, see what's over there on. and what's well, going on. I took yeah. stuff with me. Calvin did. Calvin's always prepared. You're like a Boy yeah. Scout, but he, I don't think you weren't a Boy Scout. Right? He didn't take anything. You were a Rock he Scout. Just, he just took his stuff. I was in 4-H, but not, he grabbed his yeah. stuff. I just... I know how to tie knots. 4-H too, brother. I love 4-H. Fuck yeah. yeah. 4-H. Yeah. yeah. Well, we got there. We we saw, like, there's posters and stuff and all these things. We're like, what's all this stuff? Yeah. Then we went, and, like, oh, there's a line forming here. Well, let's just get in line and see what's in there. This was, like, 8 o'clock. Yeah. yeah. On Wednesday. Yeah. So, yeah. like, we got in line, started waiting, waiting. There's, like, metal detectors and shit up I just thought there was a line. We were just like, let's get in it. Let's get in this line. It's at the yeah. convention center. you got to be Star Wars stuff. What's in the other side? But we learned that the line was for the next day at 11 a.m. This was 8 p.m. The, the night before. We're like, oh, this is a line to get in the 40th anniversary panel. And we're like, oh, shit. It's, this, this stuff's happening now. we got to let's get in line. Yeah. We didn't have passes, though. Yeah. And well, I had, like, well, that one. Was, it was ah. a security check whenever to we, get in. Whenever that's, we, that's what we got there, actually, at about 8. So we were yeah. live before 8. And let me point out, when we were leaving the room, I said, don't we need passes? And these are the guys that are like, for what? Fucking day? Aaron, or what day is it? I'm like, you said it too. <laughs> well, it was like Wednesday. We're like, what do we need? There's no Wednesday pass. And I'm thinking in my head, just so they know we're not just some jackasses that could just be walking in off the street. They nah. They'll know us. <laughs> well, and then Calvin just grabbed his. Yes. Didn't tell anyone. Didn't, uh, well, I got, you know what? They were in a stack. I just grabbed mine. So we learned that this line was for the fourth anniversary, and we were going to have to wait all night to get. Uh... Actually, we didn't know that. We didn't know we that. Didn't know that. Yeah. We, we knew just... that you were gonna, you're supposed to get wristbands, and that gets you into the panel. Wonderful system, by the way. Uh, so we're like, okay, so we'll get wristbands, and then tomorrow we'll, we'll just get into the panel because we got wristbands, right? Yeah. It's like, no. Because everything that you said leading up yeah. to celebration, you were yeah. like, well, they have the panels. Yeah. But there's also these things like if you get a wristband, yeah. you're guaranteed a seat. Yes. That's what you said, Eric. I, it's correct. It is correct. Because <laughs> then there's the wait lines that you can stand over there to maybe get a chance to get in if they didn't fill up. Uh -huh. Yeah. Anyway, we thought, oh, so we'll get wristbands and then maybe we'll go and get some sleep and then, you know, we'll start We'll come back in the morning and... Well, that didn't happen. You have to wait until 6 a.m. to get your wristbands. You guys are skipping ahead. Well, what? I, oh. You guys are skipping ahead because eventually we're like, well, we better get our badges so we can go okay, inside we'll the take over thing. Yeah. And I was like, all right. And I just left. And well, we let's go get badges. Yeah. <laughs> I left to go get badges. I went, walked all the way back to the hotel room. Yeah. Got the badges, grabbed my one bag, put a pillow in it. Uh huh. Because <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. Yeah. And uh, you guys were like, hey, get water. So I went to the little hotel place, spent mm -hmm. $15 on four bottles of water, Jeez. which is crazy to me. Five. And then I also got a message that said, hey, make sure you go to the front desk so that Antoine can get a, a way yeah. in. Yeah. You guys probably yeah. remember Antoine Bandelay from uh, mm -hmm. the Kylo Ren, the Kylo Ren, the Awakening film that we did. Uh, he actually came down with uh, Monica. Yeah. With yes. Monica, her, his girlfriend. So Antoine, yeah, Antoine was meeting us up over there. He was gonna get there at like ten or something. Yeah. Yeah. It was like I don't know what time it was at the hotel at the time when I was there, and I got, I had to wait in line to go up to the front desk to be able to talk to somebody to get him a pass there, so that yeah. he could just come in and get to the room. So I did all that, headed back over, got back over to the thing. Shane was like, hey, I talked to the check-in guy. He said you can just come past the line to get us our passes to get up to the front instead of waiting through everything. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, that's good. It's a good thing I did that, too. So I got there and uh, eventually got in, found a way to get a hold of the guy. And he put me to the front. They checked my bag, got me in. And then Shane's like, you won't, you won't, guess, you won't guess what happened or what's going on. Or something well, I'm about like to tell you. Yeah, and I was like... We don't need our passes. Like, <laughs> what? We don't, we don't need our passes at all? Yeah. He's like, no, you'll never guess. I'm like, this isn't a line for Star Wars at all? <laughs> and he's like, no. And he just pulls out a picture. This and picture. And shows me that it's just him standing with Ray Park. <laughs> well, it's, yeah. now to the story. We were sitting off to the side waiting, like yeah. where the security checkout is. And I see him walking, like, like around everybody. I'm just like staring at him. And I'm just like... Do my little point, and he knows right away. Like I obviously re I recognize him. He just walks over to me and Calvin. He's like, "Hello, mate," <laughs> and he just shakes our hands. Yep. Um, and he's real cool, real nice guy. Uh, he's a professional when it comes to dealing with fans. I think. Like, yeah. He oh, is yeah. good. 
Yeah. He's, he's so animated. He's so like he's, he's yeah. like he's very cheerful. I, I, I told him I love All his time. work. He's inspiration. You know, I didn't want to throw out Blind Waiver Frosty or anything. I wanted to, but I didn't want to like do it. I didn't want to be one of those guys. I, I know I didn't. I know he was trying to be quick. Yeah. So I just shook his hand, and like he was kind of moving along. I had my camera out. I'm like ah, uh, and he looked at me. He's all right, real quick, real quick. He let me yeah. take a picture. And then Calvin got another picture, <laughs> which we show right here now. <laughs> <laughs> I, lo I love that picture. Though. It wouldn't that's... fucking get out of the way. It's so charming. It's, it wouldn't get out of the it's way. It's a selfie of Calvin with Shane and Ray Park in the back. Take a selfie. selfie. <laughs> and I should take a selfie with Calvin taking a selfie. Oh, man, <laughs> shit. <laughs> what was I thinking? Uh, and, but, then, and then he got hell for putting Ray Parks. Yeah. <laughs> fucking autocorrect. So anyway, we got to see Ray Park and well, Aaron did not. At least Calvin yeah. got to you see You didn't get to shake his hand, though. Okay. I did not. I, I could tell you wanted to, but you didn't want to like, hey! I'm like, hey, me too. <laughs> you know? Uh, you know, with, with these kind of things... A lot of those people, like, can you imagine just that happening to you everywhere you go? For It's probably really awesome for, like, the first... I mean, he's been doing it for 20 years now, you know? Yeah. Like, he can handle that, I think. He's there to entertain you and make your day better. Some of the other people, like, that, I, you know, that we saw, like, you can tell that they like hand, handing out with, hanging out with fans, but it can be a little much, you know? I feel like Ray was just awesome. But I personally didn't want to be like, hey, now it's my turn to get some of you, <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I was like, nah, he, Shane got it. I'm happy for my friend, mm -hmm. you know? So. It was, it was, I was putting it on my my Snapchat, and you said I was, like, shaking. Yeah. You were. He, his, he was holding his phone and his hand. You have this like, look, I, I, look I, on your face in that picture where you're just like, you could tell you're so Because I'm like excited. this, I'm trying to like... <laughs> anyway. it, it was because he's such an inspiration for yeah. for lightsaber choreography for me. Yeah. You know, for I mean, all, that's for that's all of us. Ferocity, right? I, yeah, I base my performance on that. An, yeah, it's the an, antithesis of Duel of the Fates. Yeah. 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 Um, anyway, so that was awesome, and then Aaron came back, uh, and then we got through <laughs> we got through the checkpoint, and we got some tote bags and some lanyards and stuff yeah. like that. That was cool. We thought Kidog kept ours. Yeah. Well, we didn't get yeah. enough <laughs> tote bags yet. Well, no, we'll talk. Yeah, yeah, we got like we they were given like enough two free. tote bags. Everyone got a two tote styles. Yeah. 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 You can get as many as you want, pretty much, and which I eventually ended up doing. Well, you, I don't think you were supposed to. You supposed to take one. I think it was kind of a common courtesy, but we'll get there. I mean, uh, so we, we got in this gigantic it's a line. huge room with all these metal poles. Like the yeah. size of like a super Walmart. Yeah. Well, it was like an airport hangar. Like, like a mega like, super Walmart. It's so big. It's like, it's like 100 Walmarts put together. Yeah, so there's all <laughs> these, this big queue area set up and stuff. And we yeah. go around and eventually we get to the spot. And there's some people there and they're like looking for badges. We get our badges on and stuff. And yeah. there's a lady who's just ticking <laughs> this thing. Yeah. They go, one, two, you know, ticking, mm -hmm. ticking. And we go in through there and then... And then Did she, like, you stop. no, stop, and she, like, pulls, like, three people back out of line. And is like, go this way. Yeah. And she puts us in another line, mm -hmm. which we snake through, and we end up, like, yeah. close to the end. So we just, and then we just wait. Yeah. yeah. So thus we started the the thing you do most at Celebration, which is wait waiting. in line. Uh, and hopefully you get to do what you're waiting for. Yeah. Unfortunately... We did not. We did not. We well, were in. Hang, a, hang on. We got. We got to tell the night. Yeah, we, we got to tell the night before you get that part, right? Yeah. So we get. We get through our to our line, and then this is where you just wait. You spread out and get enough room so that you can sit and we shall or lay say, down. Yeah, Isaiah's with us this whole time. Oh yeah, when they right after the Ray Park thing, Zay yeah. man, a uh, a wave rider ran up to him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they found. Actually, I think he sent me a Snapchat because I was on the yeah. bottom of Snapchat. Yeah. yeah. That was like. You could see Calvin and like Eric's head, and there was a circle on it. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. And then he was running around with you guys. Well, so he, he just, was texting. He, me. he saw us meet Ray Park. Yeah. yeah. And he was like, ah, he was so jealous that he couldn't get to us. So he was he just chilled with us. He, well, he was then, waiting in then, line with us. He hung out with us for like twenty four hours. Well, it was funny. He was yeah. texting. I see you guys. I'm so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, don't be. <laughs> yeah. So like he he just followed us and waited in line with us. So yeah, that was yeah. Cool. But so it was it was us four and then uh, Zayman. And we just try to find, kind of spread out a little bit in this line where we could like lay down on this I mean, concrete yeah, hard we, floor. We got in the line at what, like I think it was about eleven. About eleven yeah. p.m. and we had to stay there. We had to sleep there uh, until six a.m. Yeah, think is when yeah. It was, or and five thirty a.m. They had some food kiosks and stuff yeah. like that, so you could go up and get some food. And then uh, we we all were kind of sitting and chilling and waiting. And then eventually DJ Elliot came out. Mm -hmm. And was like, Fucking you guys want to sleep? Elliot. Yeah, like at 1 a.m. when everybody's starting to lay down on this hard concrete floor to try to get some semblance of sleep. 
And then this DJ comes out, and everybody starts... They're playing, like, Miley Cyrus and shit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what... That wasn't really probably what your audience wanted there, but yeah. whatever. But they shut the doors at midnight, so no one else could come in. Yeah. And he couldn't go out. Yeah. yeah. So he was just, if, if it was like a lock-in. If you tried to leave, <laughs> you're done. You, you were, were done. You, you were, were not allowed back in. Yes. So there was, it was a lock-in. You were just locked yeah. in this place. And uh, then there was, like, some little saber fight and stuff mm-hmm. going on, and... Yeah, we all tried to sleep at one point. Oh man, remember that someone they were someone was using somebody's Kylo saber. Yeah, this, and it fucking shattered. This younger kid who was playing Kylo Ren, because you know don't we, know how to pull their blocks. Yeah, you know, when he's you know when you're playing around, you don't swing like a baseball bat. Yeah, no one's impressed by how hard you can string when you're. He's twelve and he's playing, you, you know, know performing like Kylo Ren. Yeah, even well, when he's play I, fighting and he's breaking these hundred fifty dollar things. I did like like. The first time he went, he missed, and he's like, oh, and then he was like, like yeah, that was cool. Some of the side, it was funny, like he was yeah, being yeah. Kylo Ren, but yeah, he was just trying to go too hard. He was going way too hard. And, and he, then just, he bro- it wasn't his, was it his no, or was, so, it was someone else? So he took one guy's Kylo Ren thing, and then that guy took it back, and then and some guys were like, well, here, use his Kylo Ren, so he gave him his yeah. Kylo Ren, and they broke the tip off of it, and then the plastic stuff inside came out as well. The sheathing? Yeah. Like, it was just Oh, yeah, man, cringy. it felt so damn It was bad. cringy. cringy, yeah. So... Certainly. So that was going on. Uh, we met. Uh, I can't remember his name, but they were from Qu- Costa Rica. Remember them? Shit. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Shane actually did a little bit of. I think I might have a video of it. Yeah. Like uh, doing a little choreography with him, but he actually worked, or uh, he he did work with a uh, like a choreography mm-hmm. like studio like Saber like, School. Yeah. yeah. They do the Saber School in Costa Rica. They run it down there, and they're they're really in touch with, uh, like I guess Star not Star Wars dot com, but. With a, they're affiliated somehow with like the bigger Star Wars people. Well, I'll tell you what. I just watched before you guys got back on Star Wars's YouTube homepage. They have like a best of celebration, and I'm pretty sure he's like a talking head in there. Yeah, talking about how awesome Star Wars celebration yeah, and was. He, and he's I'm like, like, hey, we talked with that guy. Yeah, and he uh, and he's actually been in a few movies. Like, yeah. He showed me on YouTube. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah, Star Wars movies. He's, he's, no, he's yeah. an actor. Yeah. He's an actor. Yeah. Anyway, so he's like like at a Costa Rica soap opera too. (laughs) So that was cool, Uh, and then it was time to just try to get some rest, which didn't work out very well. Which uh, Aaron brought a a pillow. I had the button pillow. Yeah, I brought the button. I don't know what it is right now. It's It's probably still still over there. We brought the button pillow. We had the Tauntaun sleeping bag, but it was back at the hotel. Yep, and we were unprepared. I was not going back for it again, and no one else was going for it either. So it stayed there. So what did what did you guys sleep on? I had a pillow. Well, Shane fashioned. Uh, a pillow out of going to first. What I did was for me and you. I went, you know, like the, the crappy bags out of like corn. Yeah, the giveaway, the giveaway bags they had, right? Yeah, Do we yeah, have we have one sitting over That's, there. This is from the uh, the A N A. Yeah, StarWars.com. They like they painted a bunch of planes and stuff. This, this is the cool side. Yeah. yeah, they had all these bags that you could get, right? Yeah. yeah. And there, were, there were thousands of them just laying there. So yeah, what thousands. happened was like we we tried to roll it up and just put it there, but it's it was just so flat and it's yeah. concrete and it hurt and like so literally. Shane, so Shane goes over to the entrance and gets like a hundred of them. I'm not <laughs> saying like uh, I don't know a hundred. I'm saying literally like a hundred like, of these things stacked and just it. stuffed them in there to make a, a pillow. A pillow. Yeah. and it worked out for like five minutes. But the way these things are, what they're made out, like, you can they it. like compress into like hard plastic. Yeah, you can crush like it a, down to nothing. Like a Lego block, and it's not, not squishy at all. So it was like you were just laying on like a hard plastic surface rather than a, like con- a hard concrete <laughs> surface. Yeah. So that happened. Uh, I ended up using that the entire night. Shane actually changed his mind. You, you changed what it up. What'd you do? You had a new idea. Well, I went to the bathroom, and there was some men trying to sleep in, in the bathroom. Yeah, that yeah. was weird. And I, I just, don't know why. just pulled out paper towel after paper towel after paper towel out of this dispenser <laughs> and stuffed it and made a new pillow. Yeah. <laughs> and that was a little better. That one probably worked out pretty well. It did. What I wanted to do was just hopefully break it open, take out the roll, and sleep on that. Because I've done that before. <laughs> like, when I've had to sleep outside. Yeah. And, uh, That's a homeless trick you have. <laughs> One of my homeless <laughs> tricks from high school. And, uh, and I, but I, yeah, I didn't want to break it. You sure. know what I mean? I felt bad. Yeah. So I just took a bunch out, stuffed it in there, and I still didn't get any sleep. But didn't you see a security guard, too? He's like, hey. Can I get one of these? Like, hey, if you can get in there, you can have one. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He, he was, was like, he was standing like ten feet away from the utility closet. Yeah. Like the like janitor's closet. It had the extra like paper towels and stuff in there. Yeah. The security guard just watching him try to get in it, and it's locked. He's like, hey, could you? he's like, you get in there, you can have them. Yeah. He's like, ah. Well, I got my credit card. I was trying to do all these little tricks. He dropped the trip credit card into it. Like, 
Yeah. <laughs> like, well, you, you, you guys like you didn't have fucking credit card. What are you talking about? Well, I had my. Well, but I'd use your ID. My, yeah, my yeah, my ID. His, his driver's license. All you fucking have. <laughs> Holy and uh, if you guys had one of your knives, if they weren't confiscated, yeah, yeah, they yeah knives, knives. I would be able to do it. But uh, you know, so we just laid there on this cold concrete floor. Had these bright lights. These the- bright lights in this gigantic room with thousands of people pretending this was normal behavior. <laughs> yeah, like I, I had shorts on, and I, I would just yeah. stare at these bright lights with my with my paper towel pillow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'll tell you and what. Then eventually, burning holes eventually, in your you put your sunglasses on. But I think yeah, I think take, that, that I, I think your no, sunglasses. No, no, not that one yet. Not that picture. You want yeah. sunglasses picture? The paper yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Not, well, that one's later. We should talk about that one. Okay, later. okay. <laughs> but so like we're just laying there. It was just terrible, wasn't and, it? Yeah, and we were told that we at, were unprepared, and we were thankful to be there. But it was that that was, was terrible. That was terrible. What was it? We were told at at six a.m. they'd give out wristbands, right? Yeah. And then we could maybe try so, to get some sleep. At yeah. 11. So we're like, oh, cool, okay. So <sighs> we we uh, were laying there. I remember it being like four four thirty. Yeah. And like finally we had kind of settled down and gotten, I guess, a little comfortable. And I think I fell asleep for maybe thirty minutes. I think our bodies just. Gave up? Gave up. <laughs> yeah. Because I never felt comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember waking up in pain. Well, <laughs> I was in pain trying to fall asleep, and then I woke up in pain. In more, in more pain. Because yeah. It's just been building. I think I slept, like, maybe 15 <laughs> you minutes. You yeah. on your stomach and your feet out of... <laughs> I, I have to sleep on my stomach. I don't know why. I just do. Like, I, I'll start out on my, uh, you know, my back, and I'll wake up on my stomach. So, I, at some point, I just flip over. But, uh... I remember... <laughs> but like my, you know, when you were sitting on your stomach, you had to put your knees somewhere, right? Like my knees were just into the concrete like this. <laughs> so I had to like, I was like straddling the floor <laughs> trying to. You were sleep. like, oh my <laughs> his, his legs were like out a, like this. like a frog, like a dead frog. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it still wasn't coming. He was just humping the ground. And then I was just using that piece of Lego as plastic <laughs> as a as a pillow. It was terrible. And then like we were just all sitting there, we would pretend like well, this is okay and. We'll get some sleep, and every once in a while, I'm like, guys, this fucking sucks. This fucking sucks. <laughs> and everybody around us would like giggle, <laughs> mumble in agreement. Like, yeah. yeah. We had a good time because we were making, we were cracking a lot of jokes. Dude, we, were yeah. just, we were half dead. Yeah. I think we were delirious there for a little bit. I was yeah. delirious. Tired and miserable. Like, but, like no uh, part of my body that feels good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember around 4 30 or so, like I probably like fell maybe asleep for a little bit. Yeah. And then some security guard guy. Around a little before 5 a.m. goes, yeah. wake up! Time for everyone to stand up and crunch up. <laughs> like, what? Yeah, yeah. I thought we had till 6 a.m. till you gave out wristbands. He's like, well, we're opening the doors and everyone else is coming in. Uh-huh. We're like, well, shit. So now we had to stand up and they condensed all our lines as much as they could and they were bringing the people from outside in so they could get in line if they didn't spend the night to maybe get wristbands. Uh-huh. Yeah. There was talk that somehow people from 5 a.m. got to the front of the line, which. Sucks because they didn't sleep all night like we did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But we were when they finally got to like condensed in. It was six a.m. They were handing out badges or wristbands or whatever, and there was probably at one point they stopped the line. There was probably like what fifty people in front of us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that- then they told that the rest of the line, you guys will be the first ones in the streaming room. Yay! Like, what? So we did all yeah. for nothing. We got to see the streaming room, which was fine. That was it. Was it was cool? I mean, just being able to watch that video pretty much for us. Uh, with a bunch of Star Wars was fun. Knowing that those people were in the same building as we were in was cool. Yeah. <laughs> but I would rather have just slept and enjoyed the hotel in Orlando right. yeah, we versus didn't... lay on the concrete. Nobody slept in the hotel room. Antoine did. Antoine, Antoine did. Antoine and his <laughs> girlfriend Antoine went did. To, they, got, they went to Universal and then they uh, went there and just slept and then we're all yeah. happy. Yeah, but right? We, we didn't sleep in the hotel room the first night we were there. No. We slept on a hard fucking bare concrete floor. No. I was laying well, on my back. We laid on it. I might have slept 15 minutes. Well, we, we did <laughs> sleep yeah, at some point, yeah. but I was laying on my back on that concrete floor. Yeah. And my shirt was drawing damp <laughs> through that concrete. And the, so <laughs> the entire terrible. time I just kept going like, I... Guys, I don't know what I'm gonna do if we did all this and we don't get in that room. I yeah. kept saying that. And kept we're all like that. <laughs> nervously laughing like, yeah. oh, we're definitely gonna get we'll in, get, right? We'll get, <laughs> yeah. We so, well, the bad part, I had a buddy who, who I mean, like, he's a wave rider. He, he got there way after us, like an hour and a half after we went through security. Yeah. And he got in somehow. Yeah. yeah. People were let in in front of us. I, I heard that there was also a matter of uh, 
you know, there was a company that was hired to organize all this. That had never done it before. That had never done it before. Lucasfilm was handling the big galaxy stage stuff. Right. And they would say, all right, well, you guys do your wristband stuff, but we want to reserve a certain amount of seating for our employees and their families and stuff like that. And I, from what I understand, either Lucasfilm didn't tell them how many it was going to be, or they just didn't find out or something. But we were kind of like... I think we were supposed to kind of get in there, even with the people that had cut in. Because you're obviously going to have people that, I'm saving a spot for my friend. Well, fucking your friend didn't wait here yeah. for 13 hours or whatever like we did. Yeah. But whatever, that's, that's going to happen. But also, I think that there was miscommunication there. So, we just got fucked. Yeah. yeah we. Well, and then... Fucked with no lube. They yeah. gave out the wristbands between 6 to 7 a.m. probably. And then we got to go back to the hotel room, right? Yeah. No. <laughs> because as soon as that happens, you have to get in, in line. line for a good seat in the room. Yeah. Like, like that wristband lets you get in. Why like, was it just one line? That's what it was like in Anaheim. Yeah, and it was fun. They changed yeah. the system. They fucked it. it they changed it, the system. I don't hoping it'd be much. better. So, yeah. so then we were just... So much worse. Then we just got in a new line to get good seats. Yeah. And we just... Lay there and try to sleep on the floor again. And that one didn't work for me. No, because I had to do that thing where you have like your feet like up by well, your ass. It was. Yeah, it was, I sleep it was more that. condensed now. Yeah, so it was harder. And at one point, like I remember, I remember looking over and seeing Shane sleeping or attempting to sleep, and he looked like he was the fucking Hollow Man or some yeah. shit. Because <laughs> you put your sunglasses on because the bright lights, but it must have been like they hurt or something leaving them on, so you put like. He put paper one. Towel, yeah, I put them towels. on, and it just wasn't enough. Yeah, <laughs> got you know. I mean, so then I put paper towels on like this, and then put his glasses over top of it. <laughs> yeah. There's a picture of that probably right here too, so yeah. we can show that. that yeah, funny. but and, and Justin was laying with us at yeah. this point too. Yeah, yeah Justin and like uh, I think Isaiah. I think you can see Isaiah below you, and then yeah. Justin's above you, like yeah. laughing, seeing me take a picture of you. Yeah, yeah. so it was funny. Eventually, all that happened. We got into the streaming room. I was kind of delirious. Yeah. Because I was, like, tired and a little pissed. We had stayed up all night. We hadn't seen what, yeah. what time of day it was by the sun because we'd been on inside all yeah. night and all morning. I think that's when we... we uh, is that when we started our game? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's when we started the yeah. quote game. When the you're waiting game. in a line or just have nothing to do with it. should have started general. that quote game way earlier. Yeah, we, yeah. we started a... We invented we, a we, game. We invented a game. It was fun. Just a random Star Wars quote, and you had to go in a session about it. Yeah. it. It was fun. But also, me and you were talking. I was sitting beside you, I think, right? Yeah, in our seats. We were, yeah. just, we were just talking, and some... Like, two girls, like, turn around, like, right in front of us, and they go... And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, are you guys blind with? Who's blind with? Yeah. <laughs> like, they looked, and they're like, oh, my God. It's blind way. Yeah. <laughs> like, hi. <laughs> it was just, it was just we funny. Were, they just we were in voices. order, which I love. Yeah. I'm glad we were in order. We were not. Not, not there. We were exactly. We weren't we're fucking in order. I wanted to sit in order. Well, you, I, I, I didn't want to sit next to you. You're loud. <laughs> anyway, we, uh, so that, that was cool. We talked with them, and then uh, whoever was with them, like, I, I don't know. Mom or Parents something. or grandparents or something yeah. like that. I don't know. But that, that was no, cool. No, they were two separate ladies. They weren't, they weren't just... Two older ladies and then the two younger ladies. They didn't Alvin, know each you other. You were way the fuck over there. So. You don't know. They didn't know each other. They did. I'm, I'm pretty they sure they did. Indeed, did. They were yeah. like, "Oh, cool." So you guys watched them. That's neat. Yeah. They definitely knew that. Yeah. They weren't just two old ladies and two young ladies, just separate. I think it was like them two and then like a, like chaperones or something. That's what I got from anyway. Yeah. Um. So anyway, we watched the 40th anniversary panel. I'm sure you guys have all seen at least the uh, Star Wars Leia. The panel was good. I, yeah. I I probably cried like three times during that thing. I did. I was like I said. I was delirious. I don't care. I don't care if I was delirious. Fucking Carrie Fisher. I feel like I would have cried anyway. I feel like I would have cried if I had just woken up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I I didn't just cry. I I wept. Right. I gnashed my teeth. I I like like in hell. But I think like. Carrie Fisher passed away like around the same time my mom passed away, so I never really like. It's not obviously it's not. It's not you can't compare them, but I never like processed it. But when I was watching that, you know, I was like just weeping. Well, but I was also fucking. Tired. I remember at one point somehow I like I started tearing up during them just talking about something. I don't know yeah. what it was. I think it might have been during the moment of like, oh my gosh, they brought out Mark Hamill and Harrison Ford yeah. and George Lucas is here. Yeah. And Peter Mayhew. Dave and Filoni Andy was there. And, Billy D. Williams, Captain like Kennedy, like they yeah, had like yeah. and the, E.M. McDermott, oh, they had too, the original and Hayden cast, yeah. Hayden, yeah, they brought out like everybody, yeah, and I'm like, 
like this 40th anniversary like will this ever happen again having all of them on stage like this again like I don't know mm-hmm. but like I think I started crying like everyone's here yeah. yeah and then like they had the whole Carrie Fisher tribute thing yeah and I know that choked me up when Kathleen what well, kind of got me going a little bit was when Kathleen you know started choking up yeah you know yeah because I mean? she's such a hard woman anyway well, yeah I remember I remember going to trial for Star Wars and the guy ahead of me, and she looked at him, next. <laughs> you know what I mean? He, before he did, next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, so, honestly, for me, the moment of, like, excitement slash sadness for Carrie Fisher was, and now here's fucking John Williams. Like, what? Why am I not in that room? That was and the, he starts playing Lance. Yeah, I started thing. crying that for me. That was the third that. time I did that. that. Was, yeah. I was yeah. crying for me not being in that room after that. Right. So. That was just, it was awesome. I just would have been way more awesome to be on the Galaxy stage. And then, but then they gave away Carrie Fisher posters, posters yeah. which was awesome. Which we got some yeah. somewhere. Yeah. I got one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, and that, that was the 40th anniversary panel. It was a great and panel. I can't remember what we did after that. After well, that, we went you, back in line. You and us waited to get in line for the Filoni panel. Yes, that's right. And then right. Shane went and just roamed because he was going to the Ian McDermott one. Yeah. yeah. Yes. yes. So we went to so, the, uh, the... And the, Isaiah and Justin still went with us yeah, to with the us. Filoni panel. To, yep. It was uh, Character Origins Yeah, is what it was. Animated yeah. Character animated, Origins. Yeah, like Animated that. Origins. They showed a lot of concept art of yeah. like Clone Wars so and stuff like they that. They didn't give like really any new, like, here's what's coming... They were like, oh, we ran out of time. Yeah. <laughs> there was a couple <laughs> things. There was some cool things they showed, Something. but I don't feel like it was like, here's what's coming Do in Do we Rebel want to talk stuff. about it here at all? Which one? Like the Boba thing or what? Well, the Boba thing, but the Rex thing. Oh, I don't oh, know what yeah. that was necessarily. I get what... I, I know exactly what He could be fucking with us. You know no, what I mean? No, he's not fucking with us. He could be us. fucking with us. I guarantee that's what it is. At, at one so, point, yeah. like he's going through and they're showing like character concepts. And one, like they start with like, I don't know, like... They talk about Darth Maul, and they talk about Ahsoka, uh-huh. and like original designs and new designs, and how they change the characters that went through. And then at one point, just randomly, it shows a 3D modeling concept of Rex wearing like the indoor camo fatigues, yeah, yeah. armor. And Which I'm sure all of us know the theory or speculation that there's an older white bearded rebel on Endor who looks a lot who looks a lot like uh, Rex and retroactively could we say that's Captain Rex that's so cool he's actually in Return of the Jedi and Dave Floyd's always like yeah yeah no no whatever fans you know yeah but they you just guys showed make your own they just theories. showed that picture it was just concept art and, and the whole room was like <gasps> oh <gasps> He's like, what's that? Why is what's that? That's it? Not, that's not, let's get off. Let's get off. Get that, get that, off. Get get that on the screen. Move it. on. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. So yeah. that was cool. Then they showed a lost scene from Clone Wars. It was just animatic. It's still, it was still pretty watchable. But it was Cad Bane versus Boba Fett. Yeah, which that yeah. was really. Which cool. I think that they cut out the most important part of that in the live stream. Only the people that were in that room got to see. Well, it. they didn't cut out the most important part of it. They just cut that out. They cut from the what, entire thing. From out. what I understand, yeah. the Boba Fett thing they showed us yeah. was not shown on the live stream. Uh, I thought some people because said they saw half of it. I was well, I was um, Snapchatting it, and yeah. like Katie uh, Stubbs, who was watching the live stream with yeah. like people on Discord, she was like. What's this? This isn't being shown on live stream. Yeah. So I don't think they showed the Boba Fett stuff at all. Okay. Yeah. So that was kind of neat to get a little exclusive yeah. viewing of that, which that was really cool. Which, yeah. I mean, I don't know if that'll ever be released. I mean, certainly it won't be finished or anything like that. I don't like know. That, um, Antoine said back at, like, Anaheim or another one, they showed another that was Cad Bane teaching Boba, Boba Fett, Fett how yeah. to shoot. Yeah. And they were, like, sand people, something like that, that they mm-hmm. were, like, taking target practice with or something. Which I've never seen that before. So this one was, like, a classic Western showdown of Boba Fett and Cad Bane. Yeah. And they fire at the same time. Cad, they, his hat goes flying. We don't know what happens. But... Well, they fall. Then they, then they, 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 they fall, fall. And, and Boba's yeah. helmet is right there. And it's got the blaster mark that we've seen in Empire, you know? Yeah. yeah. That we've seen all that time. And it's like, oh, so Cad Bane actually gave him that mark. I love that. Was, that was one of the best moments of celebration for me. Just, yeah. yeah. Like, the realization. Yeah. And only, not only because, like, wow, that's a really cool moment, now I have context as why that's there, but experiencing it with, with a thousand people. You know? Yeah. That yeah. was awesome. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Yeah. yeah. 4,000 really cool. people. I don't know how many in that room. In wow. the galaxy stage, yeah. I think there was, like, 3,000 Yeah. Anyway, so that was cool. Uh, we had that panel. Yep. Uh, Shane went and saw Ian McDermott. 
Yeah. That was the next one. Yeah, and that was great. I was in the, I was in this, that was like the first guy in there, pretty much. I was, because there's all, the front is reserved for like, you know, family, whatever yeah. else. And, and badges Empl- and stuff like that. Employees, VIP people. So mm-hmm. I was like in the second row, right in the middle, like 10 feet away from this guy. He comes out and he's just so charming and funny. And he sits down and he's talking about his experience, mostly in the prequels, actually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, his favorite scene, which is, you know, the opera scene with Anakin episode yeah. 3. Darth yeah. Plagueis the Wise, which has become a huge meme right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, he, he gets into that whole, uh, he basically dives into the scene and they show it, the whole scene in front of us. And yeah. He talks about, like, yeah, the story. Like, you know, his voice. Yeah. He was yeah. so tired for the day because he was doing another scene earlier in the day and then fight choreography. Mm-hmm. They filmed that stuff in Revenge of the Sith vs. Mace Window that day. So he yeah. was tired. Uh, and then George was like, he's like, my voice isn't into it. He goes, it's okay because you're in transition now. Yeah. So it's okay to sound a little like Palpatine. You know what I mean? I mean, to, like like the Emperor. Sure. Um, and then he does the voice, like the the, the laugh, the cackle on yeah. stage. And he always talks about it's not from the throat. He says it's from the stomach. Yeah. So he has to, ah, he has to, ah, he does that to get ready, right? Yeah. And then he does it. Ah, <laughs> Like on stage, it rips. Damn, I wish I could have heard and that. And it rips through the hall, and everyone's like, <laughs> <laughs> everybody gets chills and shit. Oh. And it's, it was yeah. so cool, and you know, and, and Warwick Davis was hosting it. Yeah. And he was like, and he, and he was walking like on the edge of the stage. I was like four feet away from him. Yeah. And by the way, Warwick Davis is like the best host. Dude, I love him. The best. Yeah. I could watch him host anything. Dude, I love. I love the little desk and stuff they He's give. He's got a little desk. Because, like, I, I a little felt, segue. I felt uh. it was a little, uh, I felt at one point, like, when he was on the fourth anniversary, it, like, they just had him in, like, this big chair, and yeah. his feet were just here. Yeah. yeah. But then, like, whenever we saw him, like, interviewing stuff, he had his own little yeah. desk. I'm like, oh, I love that. But, I, love I mean, that. he's just, he's such an incredible showman. Like, he's <laughs> such an entertainer. Yes. My favorite thing he did, and this is jumping way ahead, maybe we'll come back to this, but no. we, went, we went to a Ray Park thing Don't and he was there. No. no, I'm not talking about this. This is ever. I haven't even talked to you guys about it oh, yet. Okay. It was at one point whenever they were bringing up people for with lightsabers on, and one guy was like spitting it really fast, and he like jumps around his desk like, ah, like he's scared. <laughs> I don't know why. I was just like, ah. <laughs> it was just funny. Yeah, that's funny. No, it was just, it was just a great, insightful panel into his acting process and. Uh, you know, like in just how much he loved that him and Hayden would talk about that scene. They'd visit each other's trailers and talk about what, what, what are we trying to feel here? Yeah. You know, what does George want us to do and what, what do we want to do? You know what I mean? And he talked about like, you know, like acting in a foreign movie. It's like giving 110% into one, th- into like a scene multiple, multiple times. And then the director picking apart different scenes. Some that you don't like, some that you do, mm-hmm. and putting together into something that's ten percent of all that you did, and then packing away forever. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's what he said. But he talked about when he was doing like a shocking mace window, he was just tired, and George was like, hey, "You can go deeper, you know. What I mean? <laughs> you can do more. You can do more. Keep going." He's like, I can't possibly do more. Basically, he was like, I don't want to do more because I want to continue to work in this industry. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess, you know, what he, what George ended up using was all that stuff. Was all the worst was, stuff. Yeah, yeah, it was all the, like, worst. most it, extreme it, acting it, that he during, could do. I mean, like, during, like, the unlimited power, during yeah. that part of it? Or yeah, what? Like, like, that was stuff that Ian, like, he was really being pushed to keep digging deeper into the Emperor. Uh, and that's the stuff that George chose to use. That's and you can debate whether you like it or not, but it was definitely weird. it was definitely deep. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Go weird, weird <laughs> shit, more. <laughs> He's mad with the boar. <laughs> Fucking George. What else was while, that first? Time? While he was doing that, we jumped into the Rogue One music one. Yeah, so yeah. That, that was kind of cool. We were all really tired, but I, I personally loved. That I feel one. like I started to fall asleep a little bit during yeah. it, just because like the music, some of the music uh-huh. was so soothing. I'm just like, it was uh, so yeah. That good. was uh, David yeah. Collins. Uh, I know I nodded off Rogue like. <clears throat> For like five yeah. seconds, like three times during that thing. But when I woke up, I was like, I know exactly what he's talking yeah. about. I love this. It I love so this good. so much. You can hear a lot of that panel's uh, information and what he was talking about in a podcast called Star Wars Oxygen that you can hear on Rebel Force Radio. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So check that out. But I mean, the whole hero's journey in yeah. the Star Wars title is yeah. amazing. No, 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 no. It's the exact level of a hero's journey that you know? and the Jen Erso theme thing that they talked about uh-huh. yeah. just, just all the stuff the he covered in that and... yeah that stuff was all really cool and I yeah. loved a lot of it had to do with uh, um, shoot uh, what, what was the music director that did the composer Michael Giacchino yeah. oh yeah Michael. Um, him like looking at what 
uh, John John done. Williams had done for the original stuff, and then using some of that, and then also putting in yeah. his own. Like I liked the uh, tie-ins that they made. I'm trying to remember really the cool. phrase, the famous musical uh, something or Visa Urse or something like that is what he he called it. No, 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 that thing. Oh, it's Latin. Uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah I've talked about it before. For, it's for death. But uh, yeah. yeah, it's a it's a musical cue for <laughs> death. Uh, you know, and I, I love that he was like, you know, there's entire songs that are used this, like in the Nightmare Before Christmas, like making Christmas, you know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and you can hear that, like that one little part in there somewhere in like every song. In, 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 every, in every song. It's everywhere. all over. It's in everybody's themes. It's everywhere. And you think, wow, okay, <clears throat> this is really cool. So it's cool that Gareth Edwards, or not Gareth Edwards, but I'm sorry. Michael guess, G. G. But Michael G. Kino took that that cue and put it in there and that's interesting and then he pops up and says and by the way this theme is in A New Hope well yeah he said like it, yeah. it follows with like the Death Star plans and the information yeah. they're following it goes from Bodhi Rook and, and, how, then like, and then David Collins is fucking genius he can say every single person that had the plan yeah and to Obi-Wan but like Kenobi. it just follows them all the way down to R2 getting to Kenobi which yeah. is these plans need to get here and that same kind of music cue which is just yeah. there like doo doo. Yeah, and then he's like, and there it is, folks. Jin Urso is in A New Hope forty years before. And everybody's like, Oh yeah. <laughs> So that was so, really, really cool. Loved that. Check out uh David Collins. <laughs> so after that one, the next thing was that we're like, Well, we can go back to the hotel or we can try to see if we can get in the Ray Park one. <laughs> yes. That's what we tried to do. And, the, and they said like the line was full. If you just kinda loiter around, maybe you can get in. Yeah. So yeah. There, there ended up being a, a wait a waiting standby line that could hopefully get in if they had room. Yeah. And we made it into the balcony. We were that. in the balcony. We were pretty far yeah, away. I ended up watching the, the monitor more than I watched actually. I could see them, it was cool seeing them, but I watched the monitor. Yeah. And I fell asleep a couple times in that one too. I did too in the beginning. Shane was out. He, I looked over at one point, I'm like I looked over like, isn't this cool? And you were going <laughs> <laughs> yeah I was out a couple times yeah. I enjoyed the Ray Park one he like yeah. he's so that was so good he's just so animated yes he's like, like he's always got energy it seems it's crazy. he's there for the crowd yeah he, he def yeah he embraces the fame in a good way yeah. like it, it almost feels like with other actors it's like the crowd's there for them it's like he's there for the crowd yeah you know? yeah. yeah he definitely he was rewarding the crowd yeah. for showing up and waiting so. and everything with that they talked about a whole bunch of stuff with Darth Maul and right. how he got the part and you know, a lot, some stuff I've heard before, some stuff I hadn't heard before. Yeah. Um, but ultimately, I think like my favorite part of that was probably everyone's favorite part of that, which was yeah. they decided to reenact yeah. the Duel of the Fates battle with Qui Gon and uh, Liam Neeson. No, uh, Qui Gon, Obi Wan, and uh, Darth Maul. Yeah, with some guy being Qui Gon. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was an old Ray older Park guy, Ray Park Jedi. Yeah. Ray Park was Darth Maul, yeah. and Warwick Davis was, was Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> yeah, and they got a bunch of kids to be the the, the, the laser doors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. holding plastic. Which, which, yeah, which, it was like yeah. Saran wrap. There yeah, Warwick, saran wrap. Warwick had two rolls of Saran wrap under his desk, and he he like stretched it out and yeah. handed it to the. Like, you got two okay, short kids. When I say so, kids. you put these down. I run in, would do the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like. <laughs> Ray and the Qui Gon guy were doing a little fight there and whatever, and then Warwick's like, "No!" Like, okay, drop him. And like he's like, "No, drop." Him. He's like tangled up and like caught in it. He's like, "No, okay." And he finally gets through yeah. him. And he runs over Ray Park and just starts hitting his ankles and shit. Yeah, he just and starts stuff. swinging back and forth like, <laughs> like this. Ray, Ray Park takes him around like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> 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 like still doing his, his yeah. spinning tricks. I know that stuff was funny. And, well, the great part was when he. Reenacted the part where Obi Wan gets force push, the force push, force yeah. push yeah. off the stage. So he goes off the stage. He like he, hangs, he, off he the hangs stage. on the edge and of the stage. That's a the, long way for that guy. And yeah, to the crowd, like the crowd's yeah. in the front. Yeah. So like then he uses the force to get back up. He's like, okay, now pushing him, him up. up. Yeah. He's like, oh bloody hell! <laughs> bloody hell! I'm ticklish. <laughs> yeah. Don't touch me. <laughs> He's like, don't touch me there. <laughs> it was so so he gets good. back up, and it was it was a great, yeah. great, great thing. It was yeah. a fun scene. Like he got back up. He like ran around him. He goes. Yeah, <laughs> like cut him, and then he's like, ah. Oh. Yeah. Between that, and then there was a time they were talking about stunts and stuff, and Ray Park was like in his Darth Maul outfit and was like looking up at like a hundred foot jump he had to do or something. Yeah. And he's just like, I know what Charlie's talking about. Yeah. He's yeah. like, I don't want to be a stunt man. I want to be an actor. <laughs> Why am I doing this? You yeah. know. Yeah. And then Warwick Davis was like, Yeah, I know stunts. Are, stunts can be a little crazy. I've had to do some of my own. I had a, a long fall. I had to do. They made me jump off a coffee table. <laughs> <laughs> I just, he's so funny. I yeah. love him. Yeah. I love him. Yeah. So that that was a fun little panel, and then uh, that was at five, right? I think the panel was. Yeah, so the, the about panel, that time, five. things were ending, so we went back to our hotel. Yeah. And, right. Yeah. And, and I was. Out. What did we do? I what? laid on the bed and I was just done. I think yeah. we went back. 
We went and got food. Did we ate we ate red lobster, didn't we? Yeah, we ate red yeah, lobster. Yeah, did we eat red lobster? Yeah, because we, we met up right, with right, That's gonna be the longest room. story of the night. So I had uh, <laughs> <laughs> We went and got red lobster, went back, and I think we just slept. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we slept. I think slept. we were all out. We slept. And yeah. then well, me and we could we have me and Antoine talked for like a while. Yeah. We could I wanted to go play basketball. And I was ready. I changed everything. Well, let's go. But he was editing something. Yeah. So I waited around about 1.30. And I'm like, you just want to do this tomorrow? He's like, yeah. And then like I, then I lay, it was like 1.30. I, was, I felt really awake. I lay down and I immediately fell asleep. <laughs> well, I remember like I texted Melanie. He's like, I'm going to pass out. Love you. And then I guess I had just laid down and put my phone on my chest and was just out. And then I woke up sometime during the night and I realized I didn't have my phone. I had my glasses. I had, like somewhere during the your night, your clothes are all gone. <laughs> right? Like, he, like he there's a two dollar bill in your asshole. Shane, <laughs> Shane was just laying there smiling. <laughs> so well, Shane, Shane tucked you. Monica away. was like, "Should we take his glasses off?" I was like, "Yeah." So she she did that. So. Yeah. yeah. So like, well, just, we could yeah. have went to the Last Jedi queue and waited in line there if we wanted to. Yeah, and get fucked yeah. over again. We didn't want. We, did, we, we, we didn't want to get that. fucked over again. We just so. waited in the hotel. We got breakfast in the morning, yeah. and then uh, set up so that we filmed there the the panel so that we could. Which see the you Last guys Jedi. can see. Antoine was there, so that was cool. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So that we did the trailer for that. Did the reaction, and then uh, Eric edited. That. Yeah, I stayed in the room and edited that because I wanted to get that up as soon as possible. Uploaded that. We've also we've also filmed a reaction to that whole Last Jedi panel. Yeah. So that'll probably come up after this or before. I'm not sure. Yeah, but it might, you might go see check it that out too. After this, somewhere. Right? Um, and then uh, I remember goodness. Calvin and I went over and we just kind of. I think that day we just kind of walked around and stuff. Yeah. yeah, we did. We we looked in the vendor room place, the E-Hall place, whatever, that we never went in. Yeah, I didn't room. get to a single panel on that. I no, we, we didn't go to that one at all. No. We just went around the vendor's room, and mm -hmm. we ate, and we ran across. Like, that's when we did the BB-8 pictures and stuff, which oh, we'll yeah. show you that. I didn't go to another panel the rest of the, no the weekend. Huh? Um... No, no, yeah, yeah, no, that was the last we panel did, I we went to. Panels was the first It was time. the first day, and everything else was just walking around. And by the way, within all of this, these stories and little moments and stuff... Wave riders just oh, show yeah. up. And, hey, oh my gosh, can I take a picture? Yeah, like, absolutely. Just like every so half fun. an hour. When, yeah. Well, in the around. the Ray Park line, didn't we, we met some, didn't mm -hmm. we? And then yeah. they came across well, again down below, and we took yeah. pictures with them there. Yep. Yeah, we met up um, with Daniel, and we hang out. It was with like them. Terry yeah. and uh, her and her group that she was uh -huh. with. I can't yeah. remember all their names. Um, but no, like there was there's so many people. There's Trevor and Daniel yeah. And, yeah. and tons of people that we met just showing up. They're like, hey, can get a picture with us? Sure. There's also the Argentina guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> back, back in the line, it was the first night. Yeah. yeah, on the first night we were waiting there. I think it was, <coughs> I think it was the first time we really met Justin, and yeah. it was me yes. and Eric and Shane were talking with Justin, and he got a picture with us. And then this other guy came over, and he was like, "Do you guys speak Spanish?" And we're like, "No, not not really." And he's like, "Well, I'm from Argen Argentina," yeah. and he was like talking about celebration as being first time, like coming to celebration in the states and stuff. We're like, oh, that's cool. And he kept talking with him, "Hey, can I get a picture with you?" We're like, "Yeah, sure." And like Shane, I remember made a comment of like, have you, "Do you watch our videos?" And he just didn't say anything. And I don't know if he just he didn't he didn't know because he didn't speak as well of, as good of English, you know, yeah. or what. But he took his picture. He's like, "All right, guys, thanks," and just left. So I don't know if he was a blind way fan or if he saw Justin take a picture with us. And he was like, "Hey, I want a picture with people too." This guy must be famous. <laughs> yeah. So that was a funny little moment yeah. too, where it was like, oh, "Whatever." So we didn't go to the last Jedi panel. We didn't get to meet Ryan Johnson, who met everybody in that met line. Met every single person in the line. Yeah. Like, he <laughs> he signed, like, pretty much everybody's badge. He went through the entire line. Yeah, they, we, yeah. yeah. we went to the he first night. He spent four and a half hours yeah. going through that What a hell of a guy. Line. What a hell right? of a guy. That was yeah. awesome. He's, he's really cementing himself as, as, like, a lot of people's favorite. You have to write his name on the Falcon. He, yeah, you get to sign the Millennium. One of the perks of the job, he it says. Is. Yeah, <laughs> the 40th anniversary, the the Last Jedi like panel was really good though. It was awesome. Remember oh. that sweet ass picture of Luke with his hair fucking blowing, his guy's beard, and it's black and white. Dude, oh, yeah. I remember like them being like, "We do have a little teaser poster to show you." Yeah, we're like, "Oh, what? Okay." And it, yeah. it shows Ray like standing like this. It's really wide. He's like, "Yeah." I'm like, and then he's like, "Oh, that's cool." He's like, "Hey, can we can we zoom out?" Like what? And it just goes, and then there's like Luke, and there's Kylo, and there's, oh, Luke's looks so oh fucking God. badass, dude. Look at right? that yeah. one picture I found a long time ago. With Mark Hamill, how badass he looked with like the beard. He looked more badass. Oh, he does. Yeah, yeah. Damn. he's so cool. And then they're like, everyone here's gonna get one. And we're like, fuck, and we're not there. <laughs> Why? Yeah. So yeah. we missed that. But I'm glad we got the Carrie Fisher one. Yeah, Carrie Fisher. Because the Carrie Fisher ones are numbered. That one wasn't numbered. Yeah, yeah. 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 So those ones should be more limited. Hopefully. Yeah, we got, we got. 
Anyway, so Last Jedi happened, and then it was just a matter of, yeah, just walking around, yeah. having a good time. It, it, Seen a lot of awesome costumes. It, it, I got a yeah. lot of pictures. How great were some of those costumes? Some of them are amazing. Yeah. I mean, like, cool some thing. of them are like, oh, that, that looks like the movie. Some of, like, some of them look better than the movie sometimes, because they're, they're more, like, character-driven versus, like, an actor in a costume, mm -hmm. you know? I yeah. really, really enjoy it. I took Enjoyed pictures with it. a few people. I got a picture with Jar Jar. Yeah. And then took a picture with a, a Mary Jane. Yeah. Yeah. Because she's a redhead. Yeah. And then I found a redheaded Leia slave Leia. He did. And I had to get a picture with her and twice. Posted it with Discord. Well, Calvin, <laughs> his fucking. I'm like here. Too I'm like here. here. Take, take a picture. Take a, thank Calvin's you so like, much. Yeah, sure. and they come back. Hey, Calvin, you didn't take a picture. There's no picture. You gotta here. go back. And they went over again. I'm like, hey, I'm sorry. I'm my, my sorry. friend's can an idiot and again? somehow didn't get a picture. Okay, like, can, can we do it again? And this time they're like, um, okay, <laughs> sure, yeah. things happen, yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, so, I did get it. You were looking for a Padme, a redheaded Padme. I, there was no redheaded Padme's, I couldn't find mm -hmm. one, I tried. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, we, it was walking around, I saw one. eating good food. But right. it was in the the signature line, and you couldn't get there. Yeah, I, I would have. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you would have left. And, and, and you know what? What I really enjoyed also was uh, going to the the art section and seeing yeah. some of the art that people made. The yeah. art was amazing. There's the one, floor in general was there's awesome. One girl, so much good stuff. I didn't buy anything from her, and I I regret. It. I want to go and find her website because I know yeah. she sells stuff online too. But she had some of the best like. Um, I don't know, I don't know what call, like a medley drawing. I don't know what to mm -hmm. call it. Like it covered like episodes like, like she had one that covered yeah. like episodes one through six. Yeah. Then she had stuff like Arrow and yeah. Flash that was really cool. And then she had her 40th anniversary one, which had Rogue One in it, episode seven. It had Ahsoka and Rebels. Ghost yeah. and stuff on yeah. it. Like it was so cool. It covered all kinds of stuff. It was an awesome drawing. That's the one that I got. And mm -hmm. I didn't get it, so maybe in the future. Yeah. I don't know. They were nice. All right, Hey guys. What are we doing? We are at the vendors and the other stuff, and we're, I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> no, no. And there's amazing no. Legos, Eric. Legos. Legos, let's Keep go look at the Legos. At we're going to look at the Legos. Keep looking at me. Keep looking at me. Keep looking at me. I, that's what you think I was doing. We were both talking. I don't know. <laughs> what the hell is this? What the hell is this? Look at this face. That's the smart face. This is Legos, Eric Legos. Yeah, oh, look I like this. the Legos. Yes. Why are you always strapping your chest. Every episode. Then you can't move around and point at stuff. Yeah, this way I can look at myself like, why don't you never be on film? That's what you, that's what you just said to me. <laughs> I can feel bad. Look at this. Look at everyone's here. Episodes 1 through 6, even 7, and Rogue One. Look, Han's in the How cockpit. I got Han's in the cockpit. I defied this thing. <laughs> awesome. I think I'll be right. That's what I did. <laughs> yeah, you did. You want, me, you want me to? No, you oh. just did. How's oh. the? I wonder how the mic is on that thing. Oh. It's, it's probably not the best. Finger. You guys probably can't hear very well, no. but you're gonna have to deal well, with you it. Said you. <laughs> well, you <laughs> what do we have here, Eric? Lord the Emperor. Do it. Screw it. Do it. Come, let's do our do it thing. We always do it. 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 And you peaked a long time ago. That's quite easy. Don't talk about my sprinting ability. Go. It's too close. Oh, sorry. Look at that cod piece. Aaron, what do you think about the cod? Calvin. Damn it, you kind of. You what do you, what do you think about the cod piece? My favorite part. Big, he's a big, tall, scary dude, isn't he? Oh yeah. So, well, he's doing a. No, he's not. That's a tall. Imagine the rogue. This has to be Empire. Man, Imagine the Rogue you. One I scene right now. That. He's that tall. Yes. Six eight. Yeah. What? Did you think you were as tall as Darth Vader? I just never thought about it till now. Look how tall he is. Imagine the Rogue One scene right now. That guy just killing you like that. And he's taller than all of us. No. Well. Yes. Imagine just holding <laughs> out, not together. <laughs> Is he just the same size over here? I think they're all the same size, yeah. Calvin, I thought you were the same height as Yoda. I am too. That's awesome. What are you? Filipino. Uh, this one's put, the, put together. He looks now. Episode four. <laughs> yeah. Mm, like. I know the A New Hope one, like, was shined up like that. Hey, look, but it had the set over here, there are stormtroopers checking out other stormtroopers. Can't get better than that. Yeah. 
Here's a big fake plane. Is it a real plane though? Yes. Yeah, Is that a picture? Bomb. That's a picture of a real plane? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Eric, look. Oh, it's a picture of that model. No. It's a real plane. Like, look at this TV screen over here. They do like tours. Oh, evidence. Yeah. It's a real plane that you get on. Eric. Come yeah. Here. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> That's an awesome poster over there, Aaron. It looks like Sith. Well, it's not, you dumb shit, because that's Grievous and Kylo Ren, and neither of them are Sith. And I don't know how you don't know this, and how dare you try to say otherwise. Right? I have no idea. Calvin, there are Old Republic stuff over there, huh? So here's a, what, what's the, what's the, the one that's on the front? Yeah, Nihilus. Nihilus. And they're walking away. No, Aaron, stop them. No. <laughs> Aaron, what's going on? Droid racing. You're a race droids? Isn't that kind of inhumane? No, it's not inhumane, they're droids. We have our friends Nick Geek, and they are sponsoring with some amazing prizes. They're really good. Greetings and welcome to the Jedi Training Academy. Would like to become a Jedi. This is all. Very good. Stash, you and the rest of you would like you to go this way, this way, this way. Would you go right along there, over to my Padawan, you can finish with bow and lightsaber. And let's have you right there and you right there. Over there, very good. You young lady, travel pilot, would like to be a Jedi, I'd like you to head right over there. Very good. And the two of you as well, head right that way. It's not good enough yet. Like one day. You know what? One day. Two old. Two old. Well, you're too old. Too old. In the red shirt as well. Very good. That'd be awesome. Right there. Hit that way. This guy right there with the black t shirt and the black shorts. Very good. Is that a Vader jacket? I don't want to know. I don't want to go with somebody who's hitting up. Very good. Excellent. in the world? Um, redheads. Get a big titty redhead right here. Nothing to do with Star Wars though, so we can't do that. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, no, never mind. Is it as a Wookiee? This is awesome. Far away, it looks exactly like it. You go interact with them at all? Well, you gotta wait for the pictures. This is An Andrew? Yeah. This is Andrew. He's one of our fans. Yeah, he watches Woo! our stuff. Woo, man. Hit the button. <laughs> yeah, I'm there, dog. That's, that's what's up, man. I'll take your picture All right. with you guys. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's get a picture. Yeah. Aaron, they're what's, building. What's happening over there? This is the Lego land, Can we, right? Yeah. They have, like, this cool stuff and the other stuff we saw earlier and all this stuff. And yeah. then over there, they're building what? a Millennium We need to have that guy Let's go, go look at it. Let's we go look at it. Great song. You want to be in it? 
There's a Kyla. Oh my gosh, he almost messed up your picture. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, he almost messed up that picture. I'm so sorry. This is all individual Legos? They're building them by layers. What? Little, they had groupings yeah. of them that they were like stacking together. Yeah. And they would make one block and they would use that block as a big Lego. Do they on. glue as they go or are they just putting them on? No, just hoping just no one together. will kick it. So when you're done and it's time for the celebration to be over, do they just like. I just think of, see, look like at that. No, see, look, the blocks, they will connect, they stay together, they pick it up, put it on a truck, take it home. Well, that's the best part of finishing the Lego is destroying it, isn't no. it? No! You keep them okay. together. Let them collect dust. Awesome. Actual Death Star Tower, I think. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty sure, yeah. Oh, wow. For Return of the Jedi, just, you know, all the models. This is an Empire Strikes Back promotional tour helmet. Yeah, the yeah. helmet was real. I gotcha, looked it out gotcha. and I was like, there's no way that's just. I was like, Darth we can break that glass and run, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> all like, right, cool. didn't take good care of it in some places, of course. It's a little scuffed yeah. up. It's all good. I'm sure the, uh, all the Snowtrooper cosplayers I've seen are freaking out over these. Yeah? Take photos from every angle because we can't afford get it. it. That's awesome. Yeah. I love cool. the model. That's so cool. The model works it's really well done. It's between $80,000 and $100,000. That's it. Just put some glass on it. Dude, is that a Cloud City police officer trooper guy? Yes. But no. actually see through his hand. That is, what yeah, that is? It's just really, really old. Oh, sweet. Uh, he has no pants, though. That's probably Lobot after dark, probably. Hey, you guys see the Leia gown? Oh, let's go look at it. Dude, there are Leia gowns looking at the Leia gown. Do you notice that? I don't blame you. Is that like the actual ceremonial Leia gown? I think it is. I'm trying to see this. Oh, yeah, this is the important ceremony. Oh, that's amazing. This is the actual ceremony of Leia gown, and this is Leia looking at it. <laughs> so, trying not to steal it. <laughs> trying not to steal it. It's a, you can probably get through that glass. Yeah, I'll block. Don't. This is don't awesome. Encourage. Love it. Don't <laughs> what? encourage. Don't encourage. Oh, no. Are you in charge of this gown? No. Okay. I, I, will I will fight anybody who tries to steal it. You look like you'd I shoot the crap out of it. So I figure all the cosplaying players yeah. would kill anybody who tried to steal it. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's amazing. I love it. Okay. I can't I can't look at it anymore. I bawled my eyes out at that 40th. Yeah. But I had stayed up all night, so I was like very, really emotional anyway, because I just hate concrete so much. But it was uh, on concrete. Ooh. Yeah. Anyway. And right after my birthday. Nice really? Guys. Yeah. Yeah. So then in January I went and got her belt pieces in whiting on yeah. my wrist. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, that's really cool. cool. Awesome. Yeah, it's her center three belt pieces. Wow. Yeah, somebody who wasn't really and it's real subtle. It's real subtle. So yeah. Huh. I don't have to worry about like some big black thing on my wrist. I can just be like, oh yeah, no, it's this little thing. I can just put some makeup on it. Yep. Oh so that, no, that it burned really in cool. that way. I totally <laughs> it all. Well, that's awesome. Uh, all right. Okay, I gotta quit looking at it. I'll just yeah. start crying again. Yep. 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 Dude, Aaron. Get a tattoo. I was talking to Alea. About Leia's dress. I've seen this side. Yeah. Again? Where? He went that away. Did he die? No. Oh, okay. Where? Aaron just judged somebody. I like the other Mary Jane a lot better. Why? Why? Take care. And she had a real safe. Like a real lightsaber? Apparently, Shane needs to get food. And I'm going to. I already ate, but. <laughs> so the building that we're in, actually the room that we're in is gigantic. Uh, Calvin, I don't know about you, this would be a good like blind wave studio, don't you think? Yeah. We so can build, like, yeah. Yeah. Twenty Falcons in here. Yeah, so like, if Discord was ever like, hey, we want to upgrade the wave cave again, maybe something like this might be okay. I'm not. Yeah.
So anyway, yeah, this would be about the size of the wave cave, I think. Uh, maybe a little bigger. Uh, I'm not sure though, but we were just told that they wanted to tell us that, so that's what it is. Thank you very much. What? Like this is. Yeah, no, but this is very easy to see. This is a little tougher, especially when you're walking in a crowd like this. Are you doing an impression of me? Yes. That is a big TIE fighter. So, Ian McDermott, the Emperor, you can see him, he's all the way over there, but you gotta pay to cross those ropes. I ain't doing it, but that's awesome. What? Nothing, I'm making a vlog. Yeah, small Jawas are. Shane, tell us the story of what, you, what just happened to you. Okay, well, I saw Shiva from the league, but I wasn't sure if it was her. Yeah. And I think she's funny in it, and she's obviously gorgeous. And I was just looking at her, I went, and she looked at me, and she went like that. I was like, like that? She weighed. And then I'm like, I think that's Shiva from the league. Yeah. And some huge guy she was with. I, think I, was, I thought you were talking to him. Like, that yeah. And I'm like, that looks like Shiva from the league. He's like, it is. But no, it's not. He goes, it is. I said, well, okay, fine, it's not. Why don't you ask her? I'm like, no, I don't know. And then she got her attention, and she goes, what's up? And I'm like, nothing. Uh, you know what I mean? And, she, and he was like, he thinks you're Shiva from the league, but if you are, he wants to tell you he likes your work, but he doesn't want to get your picture like some prick. Yeah. And she looked at me, she goes, you want my picture? And I went, yeah. Yeah. And, <laughs> and here's she, the picture. And she took a picture with me. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, and that you was, looked at me. You're like, hey, is this Shiva? I just look. I, I didn't want to be like, yeah, because I was like, I didn't want to be. Like, you didn't guys. know at first because you looked and you went, yeah, like you're you're a little like, oh shit, it is. Yeah, her. It, I'm like, I was thinking like when I first saw, I'm like, that looks just like him. I didn't want to be like one of those guys that's like, yeah, that was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll put that in, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. So that was cool. Yep. Oh, it's been six. Yeah, what? I guess he altered his Jedi for a bit before he lost it. Um, what was that? This is from something, isn't it? Oh, where he actually actively used that? I thought so. I, I don't remember. I think it's hardcore, though. When did, when did he use that? I can't remember, but I thought I remember seeing something like this. I, wasn't there like a toy that looked like that? You're so enthralled by this. Kept, I know, I just wanted to get the shot. You kept yelling at me, and this thing was turn on. Yeah, I think it's awesome. Yeah, he was just like... We have to walk over there, though. I ain't gonna do that. Catch the autograph people leaving their stuff. So that second day was really walking around the floor, and we got a lot of footage. You guys have probably seen it now. Yeah, we were looking um, at stuff. It was Legos and yeah, AT-ATs and ATSTs. Yeah. And what we do the evening in the second night? Uh, that's convention. when we did the pool in the bar. Oh yeah, yeah that was cool. That was yeah. Fun. So I, I, these guys went. I can't remember why I was gone. You, I know you went to smoke. I think I went to point. go smoke. And then, and then when I got back, you guys were right down at the pool. So I'm like, oh, I'll go down to the pool. <laughs> and I was I was walking around the pool, and I see four stormtroopers in the water, like wearing like bikinis and stuff. Yeah, I'm like, like this is so over awesome. Top of their, so their I take plates. I take this picture that you're seeing right now. I'm like, look how funny this is. This is so cool. These stormtroopers just sitting in this. Pool. And then I, I walk over to the bar. I see Aaron. Hey, Aaron, what's going on? Where are the other guys? And I'm like, they're right there. They're right there talking to stormtroopers. <laughs> I had taken a picture of Calvin, <laughs> Shane, and Antoine. I had no idea they were invisible <laughs> next to stormtroopers in a swimming pool. Well, you you had, I turned around and waited. I didn't even see. You didn't even fucking. I didn't even see notice. It. I was I was 
You were so enamored with the stormtroopers, yeah, yeah. So. in bikinis. Then we had some, uh, we had some food. We had some it was, drinks. It was good there. I liked it. We had it was some, good. Yeah, I had dessert. some kind of like cool burger. Yeah, like it had like some kind of sriracha type stuff on it. It was good. I had this yeah. great grilled chicken or grilled fish sandwich. I was very happy with my burger. Shane yeah. had wings. Antoine yeah. was happy with his alcohol. Yeah, <laughs> he was very. Happy. Antoine does not take alcohol very well, so he had a shot. And half a drink. Not even a drink. And he had half of his, yeah, half of his of pina like colada. Yeah. He was having a good time. It was he fun. was very buzzed. And, uh, he was like, oh, and the waitress was like, oh my god, look how straight your teeth are. Yeah. <laughs> she, your like, teeth are so perfect. The way that he came at her, she was like, what? And she dropped something. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, like, her, 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 uh, Platter like yeah. tilted, and she dropped a cup or something. He's like, guys, look, look. <laughs> it, was, it was like, it was, oh my gosh, guys. It was adorable. It, it was, was It was funny. And uh, uh, then we had Sundays. Yeah, and then we got in the hot tub. Great. Then we got. In the oh hot no, tub. Calvin! Remember your uh, advice to Antoine to mix up his alcohol? Yes. You were like, "Hey, <laughs> just blow in the straw." I meant, and to the say, bubbles will like, create a mixture, and the alcohol like will it'll blow. bring the alcohol back from the bottom because it like it settles, <laughs> it settles out. Yeah. So I said, "Blow in it," and the bubbles will like yeah, it'll mix everything well, up. Antoine got like a. Like, like a, he like he's blowing a dart yeah out of water base yeah, it, it's also not like a, it's not very watery yeah. it's not very runny it, it was, yeah. wasn't like it, yeah it was it was it was like had it was a pina colada yeah so, so it was, it was he blows like on it it was like a and it just explodes all over him he's like <laughs> you, you, you did this bitch. <laughs> and he's Calvin, yelling at me I was like what is happening and Calvin had this look like, of shock on his face like. Like, I thought, like, somebody joggled the table and made him, like, <laughs> slosh his drink or something so like that. Great. And he was just yelling at me. I didn't do shit. I didn't know what was going it. on. And he so finally much. tells me, you told me to blow in this to mix it. Yeah. It didn't fucking work. He was, he was a good sport about it. <laughs> yeah. It was so uh, funny. And then you guys went to the, went to the hot tub. Yeah. Hot tub, chilled in there. And yeah. then they closed the pool down and we went and sat by the fire. Yep. They just had fires sitting yeah, there. They just had fires. Like, so bonfires. Cool. It They're, was cool. We played our game again. Yeah, we yeah. did our quoting game. We changed the rules a little bit. Yeah. yeah. And, and then so we didn't like it, so we changed it back. Shenanigans happened. They kept cheating me out of winning. Oh, yeah. And, and you lost fucking, one. You no, somehow Aaron Aaron Calvin refused, won one of these motherfuckers. Which made no yeah. fucking sense. I won it It's because you guys cheated me. No. I had I did a quote that had more quotes than Eric's quote, and you guys like, he said that quote. You lose. I'm like, what? You included a quote that had previously been quoted. So the shenanigans occurred, and then we all got tired. Shenanigans? It was clearly stated in the rules. And we went home. The rules are never clearly stated. <laughs> we went back to the hotel and laid down. And I remember like 1 a.m. being like, guys, yep. if we're going to get up, we got to be up at like 5 in the morning to get over there to For get the, the line Rebels and stuff. Yeah. yeah, well, there was the Rebels panel going on. There was, you know, autograph lines and stuff, which we yeah. hadn't gotten any. I remember that, that that night before, on Friday, I looked, and all the photo ops were sold out. Yep. And all the autographs for that day were sold out, but there were still some for the next day. And, yep. like, Shane, I think, went over and said, hey, I, like, there's still autographs to be sold? Yeah, we're not sold out yet. Like, okay, cool. Like, well, I want to get this. Well, you can't buy any yet. The Ticketmaster the left. The Ticketmaster left, and we're not selling anymore. Us. We're like, what? Everything yeah, else the, the Ticketmaster left two hours before the end of the day. I remember my alarm went off the next morning at 5 a.m. after we went to bed at, like, maybe 1 a.m. or so. Yeah. Yeah. And I, like, like Antoine handed me my phone because it was blaring, and I'm like, oh, I turned it off. And I'm like, I'm, like, I'm giving it back there. Yeah. I've set it for 7 a.m., got up at 7 a.m., you guys were all just out. Yeah, yeah, you know, I we was were like still it, no. out. Like so I like, heard the alarms go off, but my eyes didn't open and I didn't turn over. I didn't hear shit. I didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> he was on his deaf ear. So I, I got up, got dressed, walked over, got over there at like eight, got food and stood in line. I stood in line until eleven when they opened the floor, so I could get out there, so I could stand in line to purchase autographs. Uh -huh. So that once I had my tickets, I, I stood in line so I could get a photo for Freddie Prince Jr. to sign. Yep. And then I took that photo and I stood in line to get in Sam Whitworth's autograph thing. Yeah. And I got in Sam Whitworth was starting start signing stuff at noon. I got in a waiting line at eleven thirty to start the line. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then when I got there, he didn't show up at noon. And he didn't show up at one. He showed up sometime after one thirty to yeah. two o'clock. Yeah. Because it wasn't somehow his fire. somehow they like the they people, double the people running him. it scheduled him to be at this place, I think talking about I think he's talking about Battlefront or something like that. Yeah. Or Rebels or something, along with uh, Vanessa Marshall. Yeah. And then he was supposed to be there for signing autographs. So he got there and I was like in the first 15 people to get up there and talk to him. Yeah. So I waited in line to wait in line to wait in a line of waiting in a line that was late. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I came up because I was in that line too. I went and I'm talking to you back and forth. Yeah. Like you were walking back and forth. Well, I ended up uh, being right in front of uh, the people who uh, mod his Twitch. So for the same. They also blind with, Yeah, they also watch blindway videos. But yeah, they and they have a 
you know, kind of a good relationship with him too. So, you know, we need to kind of check cool. his Twitch more. Yeah. But anyways, uh, so tell us about Sam Whitworth experience. Dude, Sam Whitworth was it was really cool. Like Sam Whitworth is the best. Oh, he yeah. he got there. He said, "Guys, I'm sorry. I would never try to do this to you. There was a double schedule thing. I didn't know I was supposed to be here at, yeah. at noon. I was at another thing. Like I, I'm I'm here now. Let's let's do this." Oh, and uh, uh, by the way, for for those of you who don't know, Sam Whitworth voices Darth Maul in Clone Wars and Rebels. Yep. He uh, was the the apprentice Star Killer Star himself Killer. in The Force Unleashed. He was the son in Clone Wars. Yeah. Um, and he does an amazing Palpatine uh, for Rebels. Yeah. Yeah. And, Clo- and, and and Unleashed. Yeah, and Unleashed. He didn't do Clone Wars. That was no. Ian Abercrombie. And he's yeah. 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 He's done. I think he's done some other like. He's in other. He does a better emperor than his pal, so, probably. So he's, so. he's done a lot of stuff though. He's also in like Smallville, and he's, he's been a Smallville. In, like, he's most well things. known, I think, for that uh, being human show. Yeah, yeah. Um, he was in an episode of NCIS. He was. He's been so in a anyway. Lot of he's things. he's just a all around cool dude. But the best thing about him is he he's not just a big Star Wars fan. He might be the biggest Star Wars he's, fan. Yeah, he and when I say so that, much. like. He knows everything about Star Wars, and you know, yeah. there's how he knows many people, more than us combined. Probably. Like, how many people were at Celebration? A lot. Like, oh, a lot. Sam 70, Whitworth 70, is a handsome man. He's buff. He's buff. Buff as fuck. He's so fucking nice, and he knows more about Star Wars than anybody. He was literally better than than everyone. everybody there. <laughs> like, he's famous. He's attractive. He knows everything about Star Wars. I mean, if I was a woman, I'd be all over that. Hell, I'm gonna be all over that. I'm a guy. Mm-hmm. I was in the front of the line. He got there. He started going through people. Right next to us had been uh, Daniel Logan. Yeah. Yep. Which Little is, Boba Fett. He's young Boba Fett. He also voiced young Boba in like Clone Wars and stuff. And uh, he had been over there doing autographs, and he was really cool too. Like oh, he, yeah. he would do autographs. He'd come around the table, take pictures with yeah. you. He'd give you a hug and stuff. Really nice guy. I loved him. Um, and then they had Gary Fisher there too, which is Carrie Fisher's dog. Dog, yeah. Which is sitting there, tongue just with his tongue out. His tongue always, literally, it literally never like, went. I never saw his mouth. Stays out, yeah. I never saw his tongue go in his yeah. mouth. He just hung out there the whole time. Like, how does this happen? She did her whole press uh, junket with Gary Fisher uh, for The Force Awakens. Yeah, like every single show she was on, he went with her. Yeah. So there was there was one shot of in. Uh, like the tribute or the 40th anniversary uh-huh. panel or something like that where she was sitting in one seat with an interviewer and yep. then he was sitting in the next one and he was like falling asleep in the yeah. chair and it was like yeah. I think you need to go back to school for interviewing or something you're putting him to sleep yep. <laughs> so we had a like I, I got to see him he was really cool I didn't get to talk to him you you still a blind wave that's was well I, I that was this uh, Daniel Logan I mean yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, same way where I got up to like right at his table there was another person there and someone came over from Daniel's table and said, here you go. Daniel said, you can have this Sharpie if, since you, you know, he didn't really have anything. He wasn't really ready. And uh, he's like, you can have this Sharpie if you want it. It's $50. He's like, what? $50 <laughs> from Daniel? And then Daniel like, looked up, oh, it's for Sam? I forgot taxes. There's a $150 Boba Fett tax and like some other things. And he's like, oh. He's like, no, man, if you need anything else, just let me know. And Sam's like, well, I could use your vest. And Daniel had like this black vest and this long sleeve white shirt and stuff. Yeah. And he's like, oh yeah, sure, man, sure. He, Daniel starts taking off his vest. He's like, it'll, it'll probably look better than on you. You're all buff. I'm anorexic. Like, look at me. <laughs> like, he was just talking about. Yeah. Put, so Sam just puts on his vest over top of this T-shirt he's wearing, and then just starts getting back in his line and stuff. So like, they were just messing with each other. It was funny. I met Sam Whitworth. I'm like, Sam. I I love like all your stuff. Like, I, I think your like your performances are great from Star Wars to NCIS. And he kind of chuckled a little bit, and. Uh, he was like, oh, yeah, and we talked about a few things, and we, I said about how, like, um, I, I work in a YouTube channel, and we do a lot of reactions on Rebels, mm-hmm. and we have, like, you know, half-hour to hour-long discussions sometimes about just effects on the lore and the canon and all that kind of stuff. Hold on. Is that the fan? It's, yeah. Turn that off. That's wow. So I was talking to him about, like, what, you know, Blind Wave, basically, and stuff like that, and he's like, oh, dude, that's cool. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen you or anything. He's like, I've seen some of that stuff before. He said he watches reactions. Yeah, so he's like, I, I may have seen it, I just don't, I just don't know. I'm like, oh, man, well, that, that'd be cool. Like, we, all of us love you. We, you know, we loved the Darth Maul the story arc that, that's been shown in it. You know, I talked to him about, like, the moves and stuff that were used in, like, the most recent Darth Maul episode mm-hmm. and how, like, we got it. And, like, I, like, I was like, I don't understand why... You know why some people are like, well, it should have been like this. I'm like, no, it was perfect how it was. He's like, yeah, yeah man. They, and we talked about that for a second. And I was like, dude, make sure you look up like lightsaber fights on YouTube. We're the first one you find. Like, yeah. dude, it, it, it was this a, lightsaber like, fight ferocity. Yeah, yeah. like some, a lot of it was inspired by Darth Maul. So we love Darth Maul. We loved your performance of him and stuff. He's like, okay, man, we'll pull up. It's awesome. 
and like shook hands. He wrote like little, signed a little thing to Aaron, yada yeah. yada, which I'm sure he does to whoever all the time. But so that was cool. I got to meet him, and then I moved on towards getting Freddie Prince's autograph. Yeah. But Shane was probably like at least thirty minutes behind me in yeah. Sam Whitworth's line. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and what a what a great guy. Shook his hand, and I just pretty much you know kind of said what Aaron yeah, said. It's I so said, good. I said, well, I said, dude, I, I love your performance as Starkiller and Darth Maul. Uh, you know, I've, I've seen you in a, in a bunch of things. I saw you in Smallville. He said, oh, Smallville. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> I said, I love the insight that you bring to the Star Wars podcasts, especially during the movie commentary. I think you have such a knowledge of it. You, you and Filoni, I'll put you in a room to come up with anything. He's like, well, we like to think we knew everything. <laughs> and I just said, you know, and it was, it was a brief conversation. But uh, I said, I know you probably hear this from a lot of people, but... Uh, I know you spoke to my buddy Aaron earlier, but we have a, a, a channel, um, and we we do uh, reactions, reviews to, to Rebels and some other shows, and we do lightsaber fights. And he's just like, "Oh, Blind Wave, right?" <laughs> he, just, he remembered. He remembered. He remembered. It's cool. He's like, "Dude, I see a lot of stuff, and you know, I see a lot of people, but I legit want to check that out. Hopefully, I remember to check it out, and yeah, you know, I'll, I'll look it up." I said, "All right, well, cool, man." And he's like, "What? You know, how long are you waiting in line?" We'll have to rate his Twitch or something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you Blind. know, and he wrote to Shane. He's like, hey, man, it was a pleasure meeting you, dude. Sorry you had to wait, dude. I said, it's all right, man. But yeah. It was cool. And then uh, right afterwards... Um, Daniel Logan. Yeah, was Daniel there. Logan. He, he was wrapping his stuff up he so was, Vanessa Marshall could take spot. Well, there, yeah, and there was like no one in there. And he looked at me. He's like, you look like an island boy. <laughs> like South Pacific. Yeah. I said, I'm Filipino. He's like, I knew you were. He's like, what's up, man? <laughs> I said, not much, dude. I just want to let you know I, I love the way you are with fans. You're a cool freaking dude. And he's like, man, you know, like, if it wasn't for the fans, like, I, I would be in a bad place. I might be in jail or dead. That's what he basically told me. He's like, so I owe everything to you guys. He's like, I just try to be myself, and some people don't like it. I said, well, fuck them. And he's like, yeah, yeah fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> and he gave me a hug. He's like, all right, man, take her easy, dude. He was real chill. I, yeah. saw, I saw some people in the lines, like, next to, like, different people and like, like, he was probably one of the more animated ones and with, with his fans. Like, I loved just his interactions and stuff with people. Yeah, he awesome. people hugs. This yeah. guy in a wheelchair, he so went over cool. and gave him a hug. Like, half stuff. the people going to his table was going there for Gary Fisher, it seemed like. But he was still just cool, man. Yeah. He, was, yeah. he was like, yeah. Yeah. Because like, people were, like, paying $10 to get a picture with, like, Gary Fisher. With the dog. Yeah, yeah I, pet, I pet the dog, too. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. I was like, the dog was, was actually dog. walking around the floor, and I saw it. I was, like, 10 feet away from it. I was like, oh, okay, it's like a service dog. Yeah. I didn't realize who it was until afterwards. <laughs> I was talking to somebody in the line, and I was like, shit! Yeah. He was just walking around the floor. I could have gotten a picture. <laughs> yeah. Calvin was off somewhere. He was gone for, like, five hours just standing in the I was, I was standing in autographs. You I was the standing poster? in line. We'll Calvin got the most autographs of everybody. We'll I got six, we'll get it. We'll I got get six poster. autographs that day. Yeah. yeah. You gotta keep that. And we go to. If we ever go to another one, just keep. Get, yeah, have everybody, have everybody yeah. sign it. That's my plan. My, I I wanted so bad when I found out that I was just getting rebel signatures. I was trying to find a Star Wars Rebels like poster yeah. or drawing or something that was more than just like I found some that were like just Ahsoka. Yeah. Or just you know something like it was one of the Inquisitor and stuff. I'm like, well, that's cool, but I want like something more broad so that if I get. If I get Hera to sign it and Kanan and I can get Callus to sign it, you know, it won't fucking yeah. matter because it's just a very broad poster. And I couldn't find one that I was just like, yeah, that's I it. You. This is from the lady that I was saying about I wanted to get her drawing at some point. She had really cool medley drawing type things. This is her 40th anniversary poster that she had. And it covers nearly everything. Like you can okay. see. You so we got Sam Whitwer for Maul. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, okay, so Calvin, we'll see that one for last. <laughs> Who's this right here? Um, that is, uh, I can't see That's it right. Freddie Prince Jr. Yeah, it's that's Freddie, Freddie Prince, 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 so that's Jr. Kanan. This uh, this is here. Sarah Michelle Geller, so that's the seventh sister. We got one up there. You got there. Billy D. Williams, Orlando, yep. and then right here, you got Forrest, Forrest Whitaker, Whitaker, and what he signed? He signed it, Bogulet. Bogulet, 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 That's so cool. He's like, so what would you like me to put here? He's yeah. Like, can you put Bogulet? He's like, yeah. Do you, do you, yeah, man. Do you personalize them? And he's like, yeah, yeah. What do you want me to? What do you want me to write? It's like I was kind of wanting like a line from the the film. Like either uh, did you come here to kill me or Borgullet? And he was like, ha, Borgullet. And he just started <laughs> writing it down. Yeah. Because he, he enjoyed it so much. Yeah. yeah. But dude, this, this whole poster just covers like this is a great piece every of aspect from episode one to episode seven. Yeah. yeah. And it's yeah. so good. So eventually, you just need to get everybody to sign it. Dude, yeah. how much would this thing be worth? Like, right now, it's worth, like, 600 Uh I mean, Just, just with signatures and cost of the paper alone. 
Like, my time, I spent seven hours in lines getting all this stuff. I mean, right now, there's only two people that can't sign it. Yeah. Right? It would be Alec Guinness and Carrie Fisher. Yeah. yeah. You mean Kenny Baker? But, uh, well, I guess yeah, Kenny, Kenny Baker. Baker. But you could also get maybe, like, you know, uh, the voice actors from Rebels maybe to sign them. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I already with, have two voice yeah, actors. With something like Rebels. this, it covers... Anything Star Wars, you could have the, everyone from Star Wars yeah. sign it. You know, yeah, you could Dave Filoni sign it. You yeah. could have you could have the original Boba Fett sign it, and then young Boba Fett sign it, and then like I love that like Ahsoka and, and the Ghost are included on this right yeah. here. You know, like that's so cool. Dude, there was a there was a stand that was selling autographs, like like uh, like all yeah, like a bunch of them like together in a frame. Some of them were like Dude, no. every Superman that's ever been Superman, yeah. and they're all signed, including the guy from Supergirl. Yeah. Well, no, like, I had seen one where, um, I think it was the same spot. They had things like, um, there was one I wanted to get of Clark Gregg, and it yeah. had a badge from S.H.I.E.L.D., and then a Lola something, and then a yeah. picture of him, and it was, like, $300 for, like, this what? frame thing. But the one I saw that was, like, 8000 was a Punisher one. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. It had, like, a gun in it, and then yeah. it had, like, everyone who's ever played the Punisher yeah. with signed pictures of themselves, and then on the bottom was Punisher, um... Comics, yeah, that were signed by like Stan Lee and Jack Kirby and stuff. Well, the one that I almost got and it was like eight hundred bucks, but I really was like, I might have to get this. Was Grant Gustin, uh, fucking uh, 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 John Wesley Ship, John Wesley Ship, Tom Cavanaugh, uh, and Zoom. Uh, uh, what was Te he? Uh, Ted Sears, Teddy Sears, Teddy Sears, uh, all four of them, and then it had all of their symbols <laughs> and Kid Flash. Oh, Whatever his name oh, is. Yeah. It had all five of them in there and all their logos and pictures and the like, comics and stuff in it. That's I'm like, cool. this is so fucking cool. I didn't get it. Yeah. There were some was really cool money. things, man. There were so many cool things. There were so many cool things. Uh, like on that floor. Uh, see, when these guys were doing autographs, I just walked the floor. Like I was like, well, autographs would be cool, but they'll get it. <laughs> you know, and, and I, I just, I'm done waiting in lines. And I kind of just wanted to go around. Like I made it my mission to see everything like i went to every booth and looked at every booth like there was this guy with an anvil making lightsabers yeah <laughs> he was literally <laughs> like his big giant beard and his strikes were perfect not a mark on the metal just perfectly making lightsabers out of like he had like a giant like like claw that he put the end of one and it was just really cool i got his card oh like, well, that's awesome he, he makes them so that you can just put them into uh you know, put blades right into them and stuff like That's that. That's cool. Like <laughs> customize uh, yeah. like saber hilts. We did uh, actually. We met a guy we, that oh, makes sabers. Yeah, on our on our way back on the second day. Yeah, it was. Yes, we were heading back on the catwalk. I got and, him on the GoPro. And those movable floors we were talking about. We were yeah. like moving yeah. along. We were, we were we were just standing there waiting on like the movable floor. Just yeah. And this one guy was going the other way, and he stopped on the movable floor going the opposite way and goes. Blind wave, Eric. Yeah, guys. Hey, like, Eric. And then he starts like walking. The, yeah, he goes. The first thing he said was Eric, and like sh Eric being deaf on the one side, he was talking with us. Wait, they like, were in front of me. I thought like I was like, what? Yeah, he thought one of us said. Him. I like, thought you guys were talking. What? To me. And it's this guy over here. But he starts walking, talking to us dude. on the yeah. other side of the thing. Because we're moving away from him, and he's having to walk in the opposite direction and catch up with us. Yeah. So he's he's booking. He's yeah, looking, yeah, but he never. It didn't seem like he was out of breath. When he was no, talking. He's no. just talking to us. But like then running. He, he showed us like they did. They do their own saber stuff, and yeah, there was it was some really cool things that we talked about with him too. So he gave us a card as well. He does that cool thing where all the components are inside, and you can take out the hilt and just put new. <coughs> yes, yeah. yeah. it's, it's all modular. Which I like. Everything. Yeah. I like. So you that. don't have to buy individual blades for individual hilts. You just buy one blade and a bunch of hilts. Yeah, you buy yeah. Yeah. hilts. Really cool idea. Yeah. So that was really cool. We got to meet him. On the last day after Sam, I went to Freddy. Yep. I you really him. wanted Freddy. Freddy I wanted him because of Kanan. I have a son named Kanan, yeah. so I was like, I need to go get Kanan's signature. Yep. So I got a I got a, a picture of uh, Kanan and had Freddy Prince Jr. sign that. Told him that I have a son named Kanan. He's like, What? Really? That's cool. And then I told him there was one time that we raided him on uh, on his Twitch channel, uh -huh. and he's like, Oh, I don't. I, I'm sorry, man. I'm, I was new to it. I don't really. I didn't really understand what raiding was, so I probably just. Fucked it up. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, well, it was funny because whenever we raided you, we call it a blind raid instead of blind wave. And you were just like, is that like a Canaan thing? And it was, it was just, it was a fun little experience. So yeah. I got to talk to him for a second. And then uh, I moved on and got Vanessa Marshalls, which she voices Hera in the Rebel series. Yeah, she's and, cool. And uh, she was really cool. Uh, she, she was, was really remember, nice. Remember Jedi Outcast? She was Jan in that too. No. Dude, she, and she's yeah. Black Canary in Young Justice. Dude, I found out she voiced 
Olga Golukovic in Metal Gear Solid 2, and I mm-hmm. didn't Olga. fucking know. What? Yep. Oh. Olga. I was so mad. I would have. I would have been like, I loved Metal Gear Solid. She's been too. working for a long time. Yeah. She's great. I did not Holy know she did shit. that. She was the voice of uh, Master L- Lona Vash or something like that. In uh, the, I guess it was like the White Woman or something okay. like that in um, Kotor 2. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, I, I was looking yeah. up stuff. And I was like, what? Oh, so she's cool. like the white woman, or the white lady, or whatever. She's like all dressed in white yeah. and stuff. I didn't with the blue saber. I haven't yeah. played it, so I don't know. Um, but uh, so I got to talk to her, and I told her that I told her kind of the same thing I did with uh, Sam, except for the NCIS stuff. I told her about Rebels, and we did reaction stuff. And she's like, oh, you should tweet me so I can follow you. And I was like, oh, okay. So I did, and she uh, liked it and retweeted the little post I had for her and stuff. So go find that and retweet and like it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think she's followed us, has she? I don't know if she follows or not, but you need to go tell her. Follow blindly. Yeah. So Vanessa Marshall was really cool. Um, I liked meeting her. I liked meeting yeah. Freddie Prince. Um, but Sam Witwer was probably the highlight of the day. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, Calvin, you met a couple extra ones. Yeah. I uh, I of course got Sam Witwer. Yeah. And Billy D. Billy D. Williams. How was How was Billy D. Because <laughs> I I've talked heard, yeah. I talked to some people and they said a lot of times he just kind of signs. We had a wave rider come up and was talking to us about autographs. Yeah. 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 Like they were saying like some, a lot of times Billy D. just kind of signs stuff. Sometimes he won't customize or doesn't really talk too much. He's like, yeah, yeah he here, was. Here you go. Um, his the guy that was with him, his assistant or whatever, he was handling like most of the like, okay, what do you want on it and stuff like that. Um, Billy, he he wasn't very active at all. He he looked really tired. Yeah, and he was. It, it looked like he was having to struggle to like, you know, sign and stuff like that and to to personalize it. So I, I think it was just a really long week for him. Yeah. Oh, probably. For probably sure. with the probably traveling. And I know. Long I know. Mark. Years, yeah. Mark Hamill was like struggling with like laryngitis, something like that. Yeah. And like his last day, I heard well, stories on, that on like Saturday he, he lost his voice. He had lost his voice. Had a little sign up that said, "Sorry, guys, lost my voice." But he was signing everybody's he could. Yeah. And then someone told me that he had gotten mad that they turned away people that were in his line to sign. He like flipped a he table. Flipped the table. Was all like mad about it and yeah. stuff like that. I'm like. Good. People were waiting there all like, day. He yeah. was waiting just to sign people's stuff. Like that's why he was there. And he was mad that he said no not to turn him away and they turned him away anyway uh-huh. and he was upset. And I'm like, that's awesome. Yep. Yeah. I love that he's so much for his fans that he's willing to just flip a table yeah. on the people that are like, No, we turned him away because it's too late. There's a like, there's that Jesus, famous, Jesus in a synagogue. I know, right? <laughs> Money changers. There's that famous uh, now famous picture of Hayden Christensen with his lightsaber. Someone dressed up as Hayden's lightsaber <laughs> Anakin's and he's looking at like you know, <laughs> There's a, I just saw earlier there's a picture of Mark Sand. Hamill going to that same thing like because someone just went in with him it's like Anakin with his saber his son with his father's saber <laughs> and he's just so much more excited to see the lightsaber <laughs> yeah that's awesome that's yeah. funny I'm glad that Hayden came back that was yeah, yeah that, that was, was really, really cool oh well, yeah oh yeah he, I, I, his autograph thing sold out because I that's like one of the number one one yeah. I wanted I wanted Ray yeah. Park but his was sold out. It, Already yeah. too. Well, I got a picture. Well, of we saw it. Like Friday, <laughs> yeah, he didn't need that dude. Friday, Ray Park, his signature line was sold out. Yeah. Sunday. No. <laughs> like he would no, because I remember seeing Friday. His was still available Saturday, but it hadn't updated. Because I was there immediately the next yeah. morning, and it was sold out then. Yeah. I wanted his, and I wanted Ashley uh, Eckstein. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah Eckstein. And they were both sold out. And I yeah. Was like, Damn it. I'm like, all right. Well, this one, this one, this one. Yeah. <laughs> Some of them, I was like looking in line. I'm like. Like, okay, same way where I want that one. And I'll get Freddie Prince Jr. Who else do I want? And I'm like looking, I'm like, uh, Vanessa Marshall, which one's that? Hera, yeah. You know, like, <laughs> I'm like Googling people trying to see yeah. who they were and stuff. Yeah. Like, someone like, eh, nah, I don't need that one. Yeah, I didn't do any of the autographs, but I, I did, I was hanging out in the main area when they were doing the Ahsoka picture. You know, they always do pictures of yeah. groupings. Yeah, they had the front steps yeah. where they would so get So I was like up. five feet away from Ashley Eckstein and Dave Filoni. I couldn't meet him or talk to him because there's just so many people there. But I, I, I was, that was pretty cool. You know, just yeah. seeing them there. Yeah. And I love how much, I mean, this has nothing to do with celebration so much as just, I love how people have embraced Ahsoka, you know? Like, yeah. there was a hundred Ahsokas on those steps, and Dave Filoni's, like, in the middle of all these hot chicks dressed like his character. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. It's just so great. I'm so <laughs> Like, happy. he's probably thinking like, to himself, I should have yeah. drawn her with less clothes. <laughs> <laughs> like, the one thing that I take away from, not the one thing, but one of my favorite parts I took away from the 40th anniversary panel was that Dave Filoni was the third guy up there. Yeah. yeah. It was Kathleen Kennedy, George Lucas, Dave Filoni. Dave Filoni. Like, he solidified himself <laughs> as part of that. Yeah. He's on the 40th anniversary panel, you know? Yeah. With the likes of Harrison Ford and Mark Hamill and Dave yeah. Filoni. I just, I don't know. I think it's because I was, like, I was so rooting for him with Clone Wars. I was rooting with, with 
rebels, and now that he's made, he doesn't need my support. He's too good. Like, now. fuck it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I do. But someone else now. It's just, it's just great because there's been so much, uh, you know, throughout the years. Like, well, I don't want to watch Clone Wars. That's for kids, you know. Yeah. It's fucking Star Wars. George Lucas is like it's for twelve year old boys. What are you people doing? <laughs> you know? Like, yeah. So I was happy for Dave Filoni. Yeah. Well, I mean, he ended up telling more Star Wars stories than anybody. Yeah. And by the way, during the panel we did get to go to with him. It came up that he he and Pablo Hidalgo watch reactions. Yeah. yeah. The fun thing I like about that, he was like, they talked about watching reactions. Yeah. And they talked about, like, these people that are being like, oh, I bet you they were listening to us last week. Yeah. And I'm like, but we've said those same things before. Yeah. Does he watch us? But he's saying, that, like, guys, it takes us a year to get these out, yeah. you know? When like, we thought about it. When he watched it, whenever he was saying about that, he's like, we watched him, he's like... And they're like, oh, I bet they th- listened to us last week. He's like, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. the thing is, is that if he's watched Rebels Reactions, that means he's had to have seen ours. Because not to brag, we have the most viewed Rebels Reactions in the world. <laughs> you know? I hope he has. Hope he has. Yeah. So hey, he hi, has Dave. to have seen him. Next time, I'm just going to wave to Dave. Hi, Dave. Hey, Dave. <laughs> Let's go. To my idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I know you listen to me. <laughs> but uh, after after going through, waiting in lines for autographs, that's pretty much all I did Friday. Yeah, I think that's all Calvin did. Yeah. Shane got Sam Witwers. I don't know what you did the rest of the time. I walked around. Yeah. But uh, Eric was walking around with wave around. riders. Like, and I, seeing I, I bet you I stuff. met like 50 wave riders just that day, yeah. just walking around. It was cool. We had a, a quick little, after all that uh, like meetup, yep. we, we just kind of chilled in one spot and was waiting to see if anyone wanted yeah, to come We got a picture with like stuff. five... People we met some together. people and stuff, and then we had like a little freaking mailbag, mini mailbag. Right? Arisu, Arisu, one of our brought us like yeah. gift well, bags. Arisu and uh, I think his name was Luke. He was from yeah. the UK. Yeah, right. Yeah, they, he showed up and he gave me a, a Rebels T-shirt. Yeah. and a chopper figure. He's like, here you go, give this to your kids. Sweet. There's like a little chopper figure with two little badges. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, he gave. Yeah, me he's a, a he's a nice guy. Yeah. yeah, he was really cool. And then Arisu showed up with like four bags, one for each of us. Yeah, yeah. that was great. I, was like, I drank all my Gatorades and my plantain chips. My right my YooHoo's in you, the fridge right now. And I got a signed and certified autograph of Amelia Clark, Den- 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 Daenerys Targaryen. Yeah. yeah. Well, well like, I didn't get an autograph of Star Wars, but I got this. I'm almost more excited. I got Ray Park. You got yeah, Ray yeah. Park. Yeah. yeah. I got a uh, Chewbacca pop figure signed by Peter by Mayhew. Peter Mayhew. And I was yeah. like, what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, that, was, that was awesome. It was really great to see her. And lottery tickets. I didn't win anything. I won a dollar. Did you check that in at the but gas station? We, we didn't stop anywhere in Florida. Calvin, you were driving out of oh, well. Florida. Damn it, Calvin. You owe us a dollar. Well, we, we, didn't, we didn't see them. I don't know how. Okay, if there were two things that we could have done, one was stop and get lottery ticket cashed for a dollar, uh-huh. or go see the beach, I would prefer to see the beach. We didn't do either one, so now what? I know. Hey, <laughs> I would have been for the beach. <laughs> Me too. Same. Well, instead... Well, fucking Aaron complained. You guys... No, guys we didn't get home we until didn't like get home. We didn't get home. I didn't get Always. home until 6 a.m. Exactly. So, so we weren't going to no beach. <laughs> Dropping you assholes off. So... We, uh, yeah, after all that, we had the Wave Rider meeting, yeah. met up with some people, went back. Uh, what did we do that night? Did we just go to sleep? Uh, no, we no. went to the party. You went to a party. Oh, yeah. I, I, oh, I walked with you guys. Shit. I was That's pretty tired. I, I almost fell asleep before we left. You know, Eric could come, and I'm like, well, I don't want to be the guy. He's like, no. So I didn't think you were going to so come. So instead, you walk with us there. I and then you there. become the guy who says no. Well, no, because <laughs> first of all, this party was invitation only. It was. And I'm like, well, Shane's like, well, I was trying to sneak in. I'm like, well, I don't want to do that. But but mostly it was, I could hear, in that room. And I'm like, okay, loud music. That's cool. That's because Weird Al was in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like that, that's, that's cool, but I can't hear shit. In any kind of like, even like a small bar environment in Marietta, I can't hear shit. Yeah, because everything's just coming from one side. So I'm like, I'm gonna tap out. I just went back to the room, hung out with Antoine. Yeah. <laughs> so well, we got there and it was a 501st bash. We had heard about yeah. it. Me and when Calvin and I were walking back, uh, there was a guy we walked by named uh, was it Robert Hen- Hen- Hendrickson? Doug was dude. No, it was an R. Robert. I feel like it was Robert or Richard. Sure. So he was, he said he did artwork and stuff with Lucas Lucas yeah. Films and stuff like that. So I was yeah. like, well, that's cool. And uh, he was talked to him. He, he recognized us from Blindway. Yeah. So we just talked to him for a second. And he's like, oh, yeah, I'm heading down here. There's a 501st bash happening. I'm like, what? Well, we're going to go check that out. Yeah. I hadn't even heard about this before. So we went to the hotel room, got talked to everybody, came back. We walked back to the Hyatt. And uh, when we were there, they had all this stuff set up. 
like lines and stuff made up where you can only come in through certain ways. Sure. Yeah, they like had like giant, barrier. There was giant balloon animals of like dewbacks with a stormtrooper on it and banthas and stuff. Which yeah. I had some pictures of that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were like, okay, well, how do we get in here? And Shane went up and was talking with like a security guard. And he's like, well, it's, it's invitation only. You have to have a ticket. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what? And then Shane went over and talked to another woman at a at a desk, whatever. And was talking to her. He's like, come on, come on. How, how do we get a ticket? He's like, they've been sold out since like two weeks ago. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> they were like a hundred and some dollars for a ticket. Yeah. I'm like, damn, I'm win. We didn't know. And I was like, you know, how can we really get in here? <laughs> yeah. like, how, how I'm we, like, come on, babe. How can we really you know? get in? I mean, how much like, money is it going to take? And she's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, so you're saying if we loiter, we, we can't get in. And she's like, well, if you loiter, I, I can't say anything. Like, I can't let you in at all. Like, all yeah. right. Well, she kept, she, kept, she was saying, like, basically, if you loiter, you might be able to get in. But then I was trying to get her to confirm it, because I can't say anything. But if you loiter, you get in, you get in, you know? So, like, we were kind of hanging out, looking around on the balcony, trying to, like, well, I don't know how we're going to get in here yet. And then the wave rider, like, hey, blind wave, like, hey, what's up? I was like, oh, we were talking to him. He's like, oh, we're just trying to find a way to get in, too. I'm like, oh, okay. He walked by us, came back by. He's like, hey, guys, we're heading in. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, look. And he showed us a little bit. Like, well, shit, okay. <laughs> he did it like high school. He got one out of the, well, like, we used to get him out of trash. He just got, he just, he went to Walmart, got red construction paper, a shipping label, like, for the white stuff on the back, and he, he used a Sharpie marker. A what? friend, who, a friend a who had gotten in legitimately. He counterfeited a, he he counterfeited counterfeited a, a, a wristband. wristband. Yeah. And he even, you know, the like the ripply stuff on the back, so you can't rip it yeah. off, and it looks stretched and shit. He took a pencil and he drew in all those little lines. <laughs> it looked legit. Sure, man. it looked really good. Well, we didn't have all these tools. Yeah, this, so we no. just at, we started asking people who were leaving. Yeah, they're like, "Hey, are you leaving? Like, can we have your wristband?" Yeah. So we talked to this Shh. this drunk Australian guy, <laughs> and he was like. <laughs> I'm going back to my room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, can, can we have that? It's like, I made sure it. you got your guys' first <laughs> yeah. because in my head, I'm thinking, well, they get in. I might not be able to get in because they Wait, well, yeah, talked to the guards. I talked to the guards and they know I was walking around yeah. there. I'm like, well, at least they can get so, in and I consider victory for me. Yeah. 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 So Shane got, we, got, we ended up getting three. Shane, Shane, the one who was worried about not getting in, took the best one, just stuck it right onto his wrist. And I had this hey, one. I'm the, that's the one I got. I had this one that was just like cut in half, had no sticky or nothing. To it. I'm like, what? It was the what first one that we got. This one right here. I like try to put it around and tuck it into my the like watch one. and stuff. I'm like, what are we gonna do with this? Here it is. It's supposed to be. He's running. <laughs> so we went we went to the front desk of the Hyatt and asked for tape, scotch tape. Yeah, we got three and lengths I, of tape. I, I tape, heard this. Yeah, and like. Like, I took one little piece, like, we cut it into threes, Shane had one, he's like, I don't really need this. I'm like, okay, we'll just hold on to it in case we need it. So I used one and got it to stay, but I still had this flap here. I'm like, okay, like, Shane, let me have your other piece and you don't need it. And he just stuck it to his arm. Not the hair part, I did it right here. Yeah, I'm but like, it was still, like, oily. Why did like, you do that? <laughs> How am I going to use this greasy piece of tape now? <laughs> It'd be so greasy. It'd be stuck to it. So I just fold it, I'm like, I hope it stays, okay. And Calvin got his again, I'm like, alright, well, let's try to get in here. And uh, Shane's like, they might recognize me. We gotta, we gotta do something. He had, he had had this, this polo on with his beads hanging around his neck for some reason, and uh, we Burg like burgundy too. We like stepped into like this little phone, like it was phone a call phone key area thing, and we changed shirts. Me and Shane. Yeah. Did. <laughs> And then I took his beats and put them in like my. I didn't know it was such a fucking special agent. I put it. Guys, take my glasses off. My hair is you guys assassinate somebody when you're in there. I took his 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 beats, put a cargo, put in my cargo pants and stuff. Calvin and I separated ourselves from Shane afterwards. Yeah. Walked in. I also took my glasses off. Shane took off his glasses. Did this in my hair. Put his hair all over the place. And I was like, this is a funny part. He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell this part here. So I was up there like. I'll glass off looking you know looking at my phone like a video of me I'm thinking like no one will recognize me someone walks by Shane Farley blind way <laughs> and I'm like <laughs> yeah and I'm like what <laughs> Dude, I love your videos man can I get a picture I'm like yeah <laughs> he fixes his hair yeah That's ah. so we get in he's trying to make a decision <laughs> yeah Shane takes off his glasses has my shirt on grabs like an empty like beer bottle from like the trash that's been coming out of the area and walks like in, he like, was like I've already been here yeah so he, like yeah. he's already been in here walking and blah 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 like me again you know and he's just going he, and he's like go along you know move along yeah yeah but we get in yeah, yeah we, we, we get, get in, in there me there's other wave riders in there some other guy from like the UK in there the guy who had the badges that walked by us already the oh, you guys, ones, yeah. you guys oh you made it in man. I was hoping you could make it in 
<laughs> oh, I love the, the, I love the guy Mark? that made his own huh? badge. No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, yeah, but... the guy that made his own badge, that one. Yeah. He was in there. So we got in there, he talked <clears> to <throat> some other wave riders and stuff. We had some drinks. Inside, they had the Lars Homestead, mm -hmm. like totally remade. It looked so good. It looked oh, really yeah. good. Wow. They had Slave Leia's and Twi'leks dancing on the stage. Yeah. And I was like, whoa, yeah. And then they had on the ceiling these rings. Hanging yeah. from the ceiling with like this like netting. Cirque du Soleil style with, with like this netting Ribbon hanging dancing, down yeah. from below it with Twi'leks dancing like swinging around on the on like all this day. it was crazy I have a Snapchat of it hopefully you can show it but it was so cool yeah, yeah. It had a hard geek boner then it was awesome yeah, Shane didn't even notice it <laughs> I didn't notice it the whole time you told me about it afterwards he's like <laughs> yeah. what I didn't see it I'm like you had to look up <laughs> <laughs> they were like twenty feet up in the air dude yeah. yeah it was awesome they had one whole corner that was dedicated to Star Wars arcade games Sweet. there was pinball machines and like like. X Wing This fighters. was the 501st Bash, right? Yes, this yeah. was the 501st Legion Bash. They had a VIP section that yeah. apparently like Weird Al was in. Billy D. Williams had been in there. Uh, Timothy Zahn was in was there. there. Hayden yeah, apparently, Christensen was in no, there. No, he, he wasn't in there. There was rumors that he was going to come and he never oh, came. Okay. Oh, did he not show so up? So Ray Park had been in there. Like, yeah. That's where all the VIP. Sweet. So that was really cool. And there was just a huge floor dancing. They gave away yeah. a car. Yeah, they gave it was two cars. Crazy. Awesome. I don't know. I know they gave away there's, one. There's two cars out there. I think were for the for the bash. The, uh, so. the first or second night, I went by myself. But there was the the Swotor Star Wars: The Old Republic Cantina Party or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I went to that. And like everybody was dressed up in custom Jedi or Sith outfits. And in the beginning, they're all like on each side of the bar. You know, yeah. like it's like, well, this is the Empire side. This is the the Republic side. It was just really cool. And they're like, I don't know if they were like, I don't think they were like role playing, or like you know trying to be in character. But it seemed like, and I was just kind of walking around the middle, and they had this huge like theater screen playing all the cinematic trailers. And then at a certain point, they all just like got together and did like a mannequin challenge lightsaber battle with like a hundred people. It was That's really where cool. you were when we were doing the pool thing, I think. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you were smoking and you walked into that. And yeah. That pool. was really cool. I should have went over to that. That should have been. Yeah, that, that, that would have been. been cool. And they were giving. Apparently, they were giving out codes for like special mounts and special. Yeah, packs. I saw a Reddit thing where someone was like, "Hey, here's yeah. the code if you want this thing." I'm like, "I gotta do that." Yeah. It was like a special mount you can get me. Yeah, so, that was cool. And I got there was a guy dressed up like Lando, and he looked like Lando. He did, except like way buffer. Did you see him? Yeah. Oh. But he was like he was like way buffer. Anyway, he comes up to me. And he's like, "Hey," and he has like five guys with him, and he, he kind of sounds like him. I was like, oh, hey, what's up? He's like, you're Eric from Blonde Wave, right? I'm like, yeah. He's like, I love your videos. And like, everybody else was like, who's, who's this guy? Like, it's like he was like special. And yeah. then he thought I was special. So I became special to them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that was fun. The 501st Bash was cool. We, we probably sat and talked for like two hours to people from yeah. Like, like yeah. Wave Riders. And you stuff. guys were gone that night for a long time. Yeah, well, after, after we were done with that, we left there because it shut down at like 2 a.m. or so. And... Uh, we were, we were walking over, and there was a diner area that was open 24 yeah. hours in the hotel. And we went in there and sat down and just talked and, like, ate, like, eggs and stuff like that. Yeah. Had our breakfast at, like, 4 in the morning. Yeah, it was I think cool. it was, like, 4 in the morning, morning 3 in the morning. Yeah, and next to us at a table, we didn't notice it until much yeah. later, because it was, it was just a table with all these people sitting at it. Yeah. And at the head of the table, eventually, Shane goes, is that Pablo Hidalgo? And I was like, what? And I'm like, that looks like him. <laughs> you know? We started, like... Like we so we, tired, we like we got Google on Google search and like, Google search like that's images. fucking him right that's there. That's him. Oh, yeah. 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 So he was just sitting at the table right next to us and we waited to try to coordinate so that our check was paid when his check was paid so that we could get up and stand up and leave like mm -hmm. at the same time. And we shook his hand and met him and that's stuff cool. and said about like, dude, we do reactions to Rebels and stuff, talk about it all the time. We love it. It's you it's great, you know, we love your work. Yeah. And then we kinda left him alone. Shane was like, We would love to buy you a drink, but a little late now. He's like, yeah, it's a little late. Time for bed, right? I'm like, yeah. yeah. So he looked tired. That's we didn't try to hold him up too long. Didn't get pictures or nothing like that. Just shook his hand, talked to him. Yeah. I did a Snapchat where, I, where like, I, I didn't want to like just go like click. So I was yeah. like, mm, and I, I had a circle on my Snapchat. And I was like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's like I panned back over to him. So <coughs> then after that, went back to the hotel room, went to sleep. Yeah. yeah. Got up the next morning, packed up and left. Yeah. Next, next afternoon. And 14 hours later, we were home. <laughs> right? We were on a 12-hour trip. Do we want to tell the Wendy's story? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Fucking Wendy's, man. <laughs> we we were on the road. I was driving the time. And, like, Eric's like, we going to stop for food? And I'm like, I guess. 
I, I just, I, I just, guess. I just ate Melanie like souvenir. The cost of a dinner, so only fat people think of this. I just ate, I just ate Melanie souvenir from the big McDonald's we stopped at. <laughs> yeah. It was a chicken wrap. <laughs> well, we went to the biggest McDonald's in the world. Yeah, we went to the biggest McDonald's. Okay, in the world. Cool. huge I, I, burgers. I, I, like hang burgers on. are this big. Hang I on. I got spoons. I got, I got to tell you something. Yeah. That wasn't the biggest McDonald's in the world. No. There was apparently a bigger one, and the front of it has a giant French fry like. Ma- monument thing. Son of a bitch. I don't know where it was. I just saw a really big McDonald's. I'm like, I feel like that's the biggest McDonald's in the world right there. Because this McDonald's, we get inside. I'm so- Eric, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> like, that, that kind of makes sense because just down the street, there was one that was nearly as big. To be fair, it was pretty fucking Dude, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Robots took your order. There was a touchscreen ordering section. There was also, like, another place you just order with yeah. people. Yeah. But. They had that. They had trash cans that opened for you. They had dessert bar. They had trash they had, compact or trash cans. They had a whole dessert bar with cake and stuff. Cake. Yeah. Then the upstairs. Did you look at the upstairs? Yeah. The upstairs had a whole arcade. Hell yeah. And a giant play area. Then the slide on the play area didn't take you out. It took you into another section of the play area. Yeah. Every My slide I've ever seen of a play area just yeah. takes you out. It was great. Wow. It was so crazy. I got and stuck then they in the had, slide, though. They, they had food like... Pizza and pasta and a Philly cheesesteak, uh-huh. which Calvin copies me like he always does and takes yeah. whatever food I order. He did do that. And like it was, it was, it was seemed like the, it seemed to me like it was the biggest McDonald's in the world. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of things like that. that we didn't see. Like, so how close you know what? Whenever we went in there, I'm like, I was like, you know what? This is kind of big, but I feel like this isn't that great. <laughs> yeah, know? it didn't feel that big. Yeah. So Melanie, whenever I was home, like we were talking about it, she looked up something on Google and it is in Orlando. But it wasn't the one we saw. Yeah. Okay. And I was like, well, damn it. I lied on Snapchat. Damn. You're like, fuck me with this one, Aaron. <laughs> so. The whole trip is ruined. Yeah, so I'm glad I ate Melanie's souvenir because I, I got an extra snack wrap. And uh, on the way back, like, Eric had said something about being hungry a little bit. I'm like, Why no, yeah, there? snack wrap. I just ate a snack wrap. Yeah. It was a Snapchat. I ate it. So we're like, hey, let's stop and get some food. We were going to go to Golden Corral. Yeah, we stopped. Right. It was like almost 9. It was like 9 p.m. It was, it was so 9. Awesome. We stopped yeah. at Golden Corral and oh God, they big. closed at 9 p.m. Wasn't my idea. Yeah. Yeah. So there was Panic Express. They closed at night. So there was Panic. We went over and I went and got gas. You and I'm like, figure out where you guys want to go. And like Shane was naming off all these places like ten miles away. And I'm like, I don't want to go to all those. Like it's so far. I want to just find something right here, right? Yeah. So we're like, this is get Wendy's. Like, no, oh, I didn't say that. I, I want to go to this other restaurant across from Wendy's. Like, no, that would take too long. Oh, it would have taken. It was a sit down In restaurant. In theory, the fast food restaurant should be faster than the place you go and sit down and eat. Yeah. So it we, wasn't. So we go to Wendy's, and we're like, we're going to go to the drive-thru, we we'll go inside. Let's go inside so everyone that needs to go pee or whatever can go pee. Yeah. We can get our food, we'll get on the road. So we go up and we order. Eric orders first. Shane starts well, to first order. First it took us like... then, well, yeah, there was like at least 10 to 15 minutes of waiting for the other people to get For only it. like two people in front of us mm-hmm. to order their food. So after Eric orders, Shane starts to order, and she goes, they go, oh, by the way, we can only take cash. I'm like, yeah. what? Dude, does anyone have cash? Do we have enough cash? We're like, okay, we, we got cash. Okay, we'll do it. So we order our food, everyone goes through and orders their food, we pay, and then we wait, and wait, and wait some more, and it's like 30 minutes at least? Yeah. And then we finally get our food, and find out that half of Calvin's order didn't go through being ordered, and another quarter of it didn't even show up, mm-hmm. and Shane didn't have his drinks or his Frosty, yeah. so we're still waiting longer to get that stuff. Now, to be fair, it was on Easter. It was. So, yeah. And I think they might have been short shaft. I know I, like three people back I there. know I heard the manager say, I'm bagging food and running the grill, yeah. okay? I need you guys to help out here with yeah. this or that or whatever it was. So they were, they were probably fucked, but it was bad. But, but I went back there one time, and the lady who was running the front register and some other lady in the back on the right corner, we're both just standing there with their hands on their faces, like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, is that terrible? Fucking do something. I've done right? that before at a pizza shop. Like, oh my when god. When you drop a pizza, everything's terrible. Not when it's well, like, yeah, but there's been times where I've had more orders than food to sell. It, it took an hour. It took a long time. We <sighs> left the exit. We had gotten that Golden Crow at 9 p.m. Yeah, yeah. We, left, we left that exit at 10 p.m. We lost an hour. We took over an hour at that exit. It was 10.15 when we finally got on the interstate. And we got off the exit at over before 9 o'clock. Yeah. But we got to eat, so it was worth it. I didn't get to eat all my food. I I gave you my fries. I know. I Shane gave me his, his... Like, Shane is weird. Like, you know the cup that you get with your fries? He just takes ketchup packs and squirts it in there. I and did like, that in the dark, you gotta be careful, man. Because uh, I reached in when you first gave it to yeah. me. Just... Slime! <laughs> I, did I have, wanted dry fries. I was expecting dry fries, and I got red slime. Well, I did have it because we're on the road. I didn't give Calvin anything. 
But we, we made it back. We left at like noon. Got back at like four like thirty eight. Four thirty. We dropped you off at like four thirty. Yeah. Well, we're like, well, let's just take the exit up to my spot, drop me off, and just work your way back to your place yeah. instead of going there. I slept through all of West Virginia. I know. Yeah. Like, I woke up. We were getting off the interstate. I'm like, oh shit! I love this. He woke up for like two <clears throat> seconds when we were at one of the toll booths. He was like, ah, voice. Oh. <laughs> no, I remember, like, I was looking at the Snapchats or something like that, right? And at some point, what was it? I was playing something, and I remember, like, you were asleep. And at some point, I was playing a Snapchat, and it was the one when we were at the, uh, where were we? We were at the bar. And, like, I'm panning around, and the music's playing, and it comes back to you, and you're like, we're gonna eat food or something like that. Right? <laughs> yeah, like, that's right. We're gonna eat soon. Yeah. Eat soon. <laughs> and you go, huh, huh, oh. oh. <laughs> that's right, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, so that was a very long but fun explanation of what we did. Yeah. And why we haven't been uploading a whole lot of videos this week. Yeah. yeah. Last week. That was like the entire trip. That was the whole was trip. Like everything we did. We'll have another video with our full reaction to the last Jedi panel. Mm -hmm. I think that's just all on the laptop. So we'll have that out there, and I just had a real good time, and I want to thank Discord yeah. uh, for sending us. Can't thank you guys enough. But that was, it was a time of it, life, man. We had that a great Star Wars vacation. experience, but it was probably, I gotta say it again, my favorite part was meeting all you guys. Oh, yeah. yeah. People cool. coming up to us. That was really you great. Know. I hope they had fun with it, too. Yeah. I hope that... Like, they weren't like, those guys are real pricks. Like, oh, hey, Aaron. I'm like, fuck off. Yeah. Like, you know, I don't remember ever doing no, that. So no. I'm hoping they were always like, oh, sweet. These yeah. guys are cool. Yeah. I remember, the one thing I thought was funny is that a lot of people were like, that hung out with us for like a few minutes were like, you guys are like you are on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Aaron Sue was like, you're exactly how you are on video. <laughs> yeah. It's because we just do this. Yeah. yeah. So it was really fun. I told Melanie, I was like, here in like two years, I think is the next celebration, right? They're skipping next yeah. year. And yeah. I'm like, our youngest kid will be like two years old. Like I was like, you and I need to just go to the next celebration. Yeah. Like do whatever. Like do like a. She has a. I was like, we could do like Luke and Mary Jade. Or I was like, or like she loves Twilight. So like you could do a Twilight. Yeah. You know, we'll make you like a nice Liku and stuff like that, and just yeah, do that. So maybe we'll try to go to the next Star Wars celebration. I don't That'll know. It'll be fun. So it was a lot of fun. I want to thank everybody for making it possible. Yeah. Thank you so much. And Aaron and Calvin for driving. Because mm -hmm. I slept a lot in the mm -hmm. way. Me too. Um, Antoine and Monica for hanging out with us. That was a really good time. Sleeping in cool. our beds when we weren't there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank you for sleeping in our beds. Yeah. I feel bad they slept on the floor the whole week. They got one night on the on the bed. That's true. They, they they each could have had a bed that night. They got to say they were free. They're fine. Yeah. <laughs> thank you guys for sending us. It was awesome. Yeah. We appreciate you guys watching in general. Like it yeah. still doesn't feel real that we went to Star Wars. Yeah. It was Calvin's first. Vacation. Yeah, I just said that. But and yeah, he spent, he had so much fun standing in line. And didn't get to go to the beach. Nope. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, we'll be doing a lot more traveling stuff here in the future. I want to go to some more cons. That was yeah. fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, like WaveCon. Yeah. But make sure you're subscribed so you can see everything coming out of Blonde Wave. And check out Discord. And, yep, yeah. Do that. Put Discord WaveCon information there if you guys want to enter. And here's to the, the people who sent us there. Yeah. And here's the next four years of Star Wars.